Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Straightforward Farming Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, alongside Nick McCormick, as always. But tonight, we got two special guests in the house. Actually, three. One guy's not mic'd up. He's just taking it all in. Yeah. We don't know how involved he wants to be. He can jump in anytime he wants, but yeah. we're going to leave that up to him. <laughs> so we're sitting here deserve. with a local guy that I've known since I was literally, literally five years old. We're going to call him Bear Beck. His real name's Dan, but Bear from Reichman Brothers, John Deere, in southern Illinois. I've known him since I was literally four or five years old. And we're going to throw out, just for those listening, anything we say or do in this podcast does not necessarily reflect the way that Bear feels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he might get drugged into a few things yeah, here that exactly. he may or may not so agree with. But... Anything that we say or do does not re- re- you know, necessarily represent Reichman Brothers yeah. or Bear's personal opinion, so we're just going to throw that out there. He's just along for the ride, yeah. so if he wants to chime in, he can. Wrong place, wrong time. He yep. got drug in. Yep, exactly. So, just leave it at that. And we're also here with Mr. Wisconsin Titan 2, Ryan Kelly. Yep. And on yep. TikTok, it's just WI Titan yep. 2, right? WI Titan 2. Okay. Or, as, or as Burkhart said, Wittiton? <laughs> yeah. Wittiton? <laughs> He's like... It's Wittiton? pretty much Alice Seven Thousand, but yeah, exactly. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He refuses to change. This it. is yeah. a very, a very special after-school egg co episode. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is of yep. straightforward farming. Yeah. Yep. Right? So, so is what we're doing here is Bear showed up at my house to deliver a corn head at like three o'clock, and I started drinking beer then, and are you, been here we ever are. Since. Yeah. Are you still punched so. in? Ish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's overtime. He was not drinking. I started drinking at like 3 o'clock just because that's what you do when a salesman pulls in. Yeah. So. Well, right. I mean, if you got to listen to their bullshit. <laughs> you know, you got to listen to them and drink be, or throw yeah. them out. Exactly. I yeah. mean, we and, stopped in Strasburg to go to the gas station. Next thing I know, this guy's trying to sell me sulfur tillage equipment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, you know, yep. you might as well get drunk. Yep. Yeah. I always like it when people pull in like that, that I know is on the clock that can't drink. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have a beer. What do you think? It was hot out today. What do you think of that? And they just have to sit there and take it. You yeah. know, so good for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so you guys come out of Wisconsin for the Farm Progress Show. You've never been to Decatur, Illinois, I assume? I've been to Decatur once or twice. Oh, happy. Okay. Farm Progress Show. Gotcha. Been to Boone to the Farm Progress Show. That's okay. only like four hours from us. Okay. It's unfortunate yep. for you, but okay. Yeah. We still grow better corn in Illinois than they do in Iowa, but yeah. we're going to let that slide. Yeah. I mean, what part of Illinois? All of it. Yeah. We're still better than I, Iowa. I, yeah. Being we're in Illinois, I'm not going to argue with you guys. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, let's keep it that way. Yeah. All right. That's right. I mean, I did see some pivots running in Illinois. I don't see a lot of those in Iowa, but whatever. I don't know where you, you know. see those at because they're yeah, not around that here. That was in Western Illinois, and we're willing to give that to Missouri. Yeah. Okay. All Pretty right. much anything west of that river doesn't really count as Illinois, but Missouri won't claim it either. That's kind of like no, that's a DMZ, like the, it's a no man's yeah. land. Essentially, Nick and I are wanting to get Illinois down to about the size of Rhode Island because yeah. everything north Chicago can have, yeah. yep. west, we're going to div- divvy that up between Iowa, Missouri. You guys are in luck. Yeah. We're going to give Chicago back to Wisconsin. No, yeah. we, no we don't want it. from you nope. guys, and we're going to give it back. You're taking it. It's only right nope. if we give it back to you. You're taking it. We, we are literally closer when we were in Sioux Falls. We were closer to Sioux Falls than we ever are to Milwaukee. Really? Well, I'd hope when oh. you're in Sioux Falls, you're closer to Sioux Falls. I mean, that would make I sense. I mean, closer. <laughs> home is closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> home no, is closer. No, 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 okay. There. You said when you were in Sioux Falls, you're closer to Sioux Falls. I'm like, well, that would make logical <laughs> sense. <laughs> Wisconsin math. I'm, I'm next, really thing you know, next thing you know, <laughs> you're going to tell me the moon landing is not real. <laughs> yeah, anyway, hell, moving on. Hell, yeah. Mondale might have taken Wisconsin, except they just couldn't count the votes. That, right? Well, no. Yeah. Illinois can no. teach you a few things on that. Yeah. We're good at that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you guys are pushing it. I mean, you're extremely close to the only state that did not vote for Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Extremely close. Yeah. I, dangerous. I, like, can you I, see Minnesota from your house? We can. Okay, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. You're, yeah. you're like teetering on the edge the door. of being thrown yeah. out of the podcast yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I won't bring up what hospital I was born in right uh, now. Uh, just, uh, well, uh, don't tell say. me you are officially no, native no, to Minnesota because yeah. you no, were born no, there. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Okay. All right, just we're just getting that out there. I'm yeah. native like every retired person with gray hair that moves to Hawaii that has the native sticker on the back For sure. of their Jeep. Yep. yep. Oh, Same you mean way. like you mean like the salt life people around here? Yeah. yeah we, we have yes. no salt water within yeah. a thousand miles of yeah, here. They're all salt, salt life. life. Yeah. I, I saw water in Havana. Sure. I mean, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, and it might be salty. Who knows? It, it could be because I I peed in it. Yeah. Earlier. Could be. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. So, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yep. So what's everybody want to talk about? We've covered, a, we've covered a lot of topics already tonight we prior have. to the podcast. Out in the driveway. Horse, horse chicks. We've, we've covered it all from how two-cylinder John Deere's pretty much have sucked ass since the beginning of time. <laughs> and it's like horse, <laughs> two-cylinder John Deere. I don't know. The smell's better on a two-cylinder, but the horse might be less work. Um, yep. And we've moved clear past two horse chicks. I mean, you can like literally, that. what, saddle up both horses, get all this shit hitched up, ready to go before you can get the two lunger started by the time yeah. you open the pit cock and turn yeah. the flywheel and got to yeah. get into the right spot. And, and then once it's running, you're like, shit, what am I going to do now? Yeah. It's probably not no. good for anything. Was it a spoker flywheel? Well, was it styled or unstyled? we got to start <laughs> with that. That's yeah. way different. Yeah, that's a whole big deal. No, yeah. did you? That's did where you, it started with deer. Yeah. yeah. New did you have, they all look like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. <laughs> Whoop. This, this episode's brought to you by Reichman Brothers, John Deere. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Yep, no yep. such thing as bad publicity. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> now, actually, if you do get fired, I do feel bad for you. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. just want to put on the headphones and take the wrath, but no. Yeah. It, we're good. Yeah. So Anyway, I guess we'll have to pick on for, something else. For the yes. record, Nick McCormick does have a firearm ported at him right now. No, so no, we're, no. I'm all good. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> yeah. You never know. That's the beauty of radio. Yeah. yeah I've got a so, face for radio. So was there anything at the Farm Progress show that you just thought was totally cool? You're like, man, I'd really like to have one of those. Massey Ferguson sprayer. When I think of sprayers, I can't think of any name that sticks out to me more than Massey Ferguson. It is the first name in sprayer. No doubt. Yep. The leader. Yep. Industry leader. They, revolutionized the self-propelled sprayer market <laughs> yep. with Massey Ferguson. They did. I mean, but they did rip off Fent, the Fent sprayer design. I mean, Fent. Well, I mean, they're the same. Yep. I mean, same. Right. Cow, so, right. Yeah. So, honestly, I didn't see much of the show just because I couldn't peel myself away from Agco. Gotcha. Well, so, is that. the Fent the 756 German diesel? Of today. <laughs> well, I, well, I, would say, I think the fence sprayer is actually really good. Okay, gotcha. I'm not going to knock the fence sprayer. I, I like the fence sprayer. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I was only there for just a wee little bit. I did not see the Massey sprayer. I did not know they were in the spraying industry. Wait, wait, wait. So, how, so how you're actually serious on this? I just I just saw an article on my phone about the Massey sprayer this week. Yeah, because I, I literally, when I got to the show, I called the guys. They come pick me up in my truck and drove me straight to the booth. I didn't see any of the show. So yeah. I thought you were, like, joking Unfortunately not. So is it like a backpack spray with a pump, or is it actually like a self-propelled spray? <laughs> it's got a 354 Perkins in it, so it's probably uh, not so it's gonna any more powerful. Hey, going it should have a 327 yeah. in it. Would be, would, would be better, you know, a little gas, a oh. little, little glass pack action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you give me a four-bolt main glass pack, two cherry bombs on a 327 yeah. over a 354 Perkins any day. That way it sounds good while it's on fire. Well, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, when your 510's burning, you know it's on fire because it changes the cackle a little bit. Did you know many people died because they couldn't pry themselves out of the cab from playing with the throttle because they love the smell of it so bad. Pond, yeah. <laughs> <They> were... <laughs> I get it. I get it. Those things were, were awesome. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. He just could not leave the cab. <laughs> He's like, God, that sounds so good when I rev it up. Yeah. <laughs> All there is a skeleton left in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> he could have made it. Yeah. Hey, I'm still on the throttle. Yeah. Exactly. The stairway to heaven would have took him all the way back to the fire. Yeah, yeah so the fire like, was yeah. clear back at the straw walkers, yeah. but he just couldn't get out yep. of the cab. Yep. Well, when he died and went to heaven, he woke up in a massy 510. Yeah. 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 He was like, man, yes. some things never change. <laughs> yeah. No oh, doubt. God. Uh, how times have changed. There was so many massy combines around here when we were a kid. It wasn't even funny, but literally every one of them had caught on fire. It's not, yeah. not saying it burnt to the ground, but every guy that owned one, yep, been on fire twice last and year. And they all had wheel weights in the back, they back did. wheels. They did. Yep. Well, I mean, if you're not catching on fire, you're not getting anything done, no, right? No, you're not pushing it hard enough. Yeah. If it's not yep. on fire, right. you're not at max capacity. Well, yep. right. You, can, you know how much you can harvest if your field's on fire? <laughs> Like, you can get through that shit quick. Yeah. Get, rid of, get rid of all that trash. You just got ears left if you're quick. Just that, throw that variable speed ahead. Roll on. That's it's, where the term lit a fire under his ass come yeah. from, the Massey Combine. Yeah, yeah. The Massey, literally the Massey Combine. Yes. We, can, we can trace it back to that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Absolutely. How stupid is it that we got talking about Massey Combines and talking about V8 engines and stuff like that, and I was like, 
well, yeah, here I am, eight hours north of you guys. And I'm like, well, yeah, as a kid, you had the Massey 510 with the 327, with yeah. the cherry bombs on it. Everybody like, did. Yep. yep. They did. I mean, yeah. really, most guys around here dumped the Massey about the 850. That was their last one. Yeah. They got the 850, they're like, fuck it, I'm out. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done enough. <laughs> Can't do it no more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they ran it two years, it didn't catch fire. They're like, well, it needs a whole bunch of work, and we got to move on. Yeah. Normally, they burnt by then, we get a new one, but not the The thing stuff. I did like about the old Masseys was all the controls looked the same. Like, for me, there was not a Massey guy. You look at it, like, that fucking thing's got two hydrostat handles in it, and fucking everything yeah. else. But he does hair. Big hammer on the knob. Yeah. <laughs> What, why does it say MF on the front? Motherfucker, it yep. broke again. Yeah, I never thought, is that, is that actually the yeah. reason? It's like, Mother- you, know, you run this hydro till noon, then when it breaks, yeah. you just reach yeah. down to the bottom. You got a fresh cable already yeah. hooked up. You're ready to go. And tomorrow morning, you just rebuild it all and start fresh. Yep. Well, right. Yep. And then Massey's like, you know, we're getting away from 327 Chevy engines because the EPA just destroyed the small block Chevrolet, right? <laughs> Perkins, we need you to help. I know you have a six-cylinder turbocharged engine, but what yeah. we really need is a big V8 yeah. and that's loud and noisy. Yeah, we need something that's loud and very fuel inefficient and makes a lot of, yeah, we got to yeah. have all that. Horsepower well, is option. you got to get as much of that fuel burned off as you can before the combine before it catches burns. on fire. Right. It's, it's like much a, it's safer like that way. If it's full of fuel, you can't land, Tony. Yeah. you got to burn that off. <laughs> yeah. Well, one thing you don't have to worry about with the Massey is, is the feeder house chain tight no because it just literally had flaps yeah. <laughs> they're like let's just let's just have basically flaps the feed accelerator yes. out of a current john deere was the feeder house on a massey yeah. we just wait a minute plug it to the back <laughs> did, did gleaner steal the accelerator roll design from the feeder house of massey ferguson they could have i don't Holy. know is this I, this this could be like the the matrix moment where you're like wait a minute so I, Agco, I still want to know, though, who at Agco sat down and looked at the paperwork and said, you know what, we sell a shitload more Massey Fergusons than we do Gleaner Combines, so let's go ahead and shit-can the Massey. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep making Gleaners for these six guys that still got them, because yep. they're loyal. <laughs> they are loyal. Yeah. They're not switching. we no. got to keep making them. Nope. They they will go back to the horses and yeah. whatever else, you know. Yep. It was actually a celebrity influence. Oscar the Grouch. A lot of people don't know Oscar the Grouch is one of the biggest landowners in central Illinois. Is that right? Yep. And he's like, my trash can reminds me of my gleaner. Uh, nice. <laughs> and he's yeah. like, yep. I'm a gleaner guy. Yep. So they're like, we got to keep Oscar happy. Obviously, he's a big name celebrity like that. Yep. If he likes galvanized trash cans. Yep. We got to keep the gleaner going. Perfect. Go so the one thing I noticed at the Farm Progress Show that I still want answers to, and I'm not, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I swear to God. Sit right there in the tent. And I saw numerous full-blown, bonded Amish people walking by. I'm like, now what the fuck are you buying at the Farm Progress Show? <laughs> all of it. It's all progress to them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, holy shit, golf carts. Yeah. <laughs> we can, get, we can well, really accelerate this deal. Well, I think in Amish, you just need to be back so many years. So if they go to the Agco booth, well, that's this basically is yeah, that's like true. they're that's just... Right. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt. 100 years of ag, or of gleaner? Right. Nah, maybe not so much. It's like 10 years in Amish time. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so does, do Amish have time like dog years? You like that? I don't know. So, <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah. A good when question. they walk into the Aggo booth, they do. Yeah. Right. So like, yeah. right, right. That's in gleaner years? <laughs> <laughs> We'll just carry all the wheat to this thing and throw it in the front. Yeah. Won't change all, direction. All the chaff comes out in one spot. It's easy to carry off. We're good shape. Yep, I agree. Yeah, I, I, I just, I seen that. I thought, well, I don't know what Amish people are. I w- would expect to see them at a sale bar for we're selling horses well, or something, yeah. you know. But Horsepower. Sisu engine. Lots of, I, lots of horsepower. And I don't mean to knock the Amish, but. Odds are they're probably not listening. So. No, probably not. They're in their earbuds really pissed off right now. No doubt. So if you're Amish and are listening, I apologize. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, brought to you by Reichman Brothers. 
<laughs> hey, you got to tell Reichman's no such thing as bad publicity. Uh, right. Redco loves it. Right. Well, I mean, we're selling Gleaner Combines by the handful. <laughs> so, oh, it's no all doubt. good publicity. That's right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yep. So, yeah, I don't know. Now, you did not go to the Rantoul half century of progress or, you know, 10 years of Amish progress or whatever we call it over there. I don't know, but you, you didn't mean, go. You mean the Gleaner and Agco <laughs> demonstration <laughs> yeah, event? No. Exactly. Oh. There was a lot of D21s there, apparently. There was. There was. Yeah. I still think I got ripped off because I did. they did talk me into buying one of the D21 raffle tickets. Hmm. There. Yeah, you got screwed if you paid any amount of money for it whatsoever. Oh, yeah, because you know that they, they drew my name and they're just like, fuck. Never mind. Fuck. Never mind. And, and they yeah. just kind of threw it behind them yeah. and they're like, yep. Moving on. Yeah. yeah. They're yep. like, We're it might as well have just said whistling diesel yeah. on yeah. it. <laughs> I love that kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is awesome. That guy is great. Yep. 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 I like it. Yeah, that was the most D21s I'd ever seen lined up there. I seen, I just seen, I didn't go. I just seen stuff on TikTok. It was miserable hot that week. I, yeah. I couldn't I couldn't see any more than the first, like, 12 because my erection got so hard that oh, I yeah. actually passed out from my oh, blood I'm pressure. Sure, yeah. it, it I did blacked out, than so I, I didn't I see all that. 500. Yeah, yep. I didn't even know they ever made 500, <laughs> let alone they could get 500 of them to the show. <laughs> well, they didn't all run. <laughs> That's what oh. I figured. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a push-pull or drag thing, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> That would have been an excellent opportunity for cash for clunkers. We'll take the whole lot. So you're telling me I can get 126 whopping horsepower in this short couple piece of shit, but it's painted bright orange? Series 3 turbocharged? I'll take it. Yep. Yes. Hey, yeah. First turbocharged Double. tractor ever from the factory now. Come on. That's nope. what they claim. D19. Yeah. D19. Is that right? Yeah, it was D19. Oh, D19. D19. Oh, okay. Which coincidentally I stand looks correct. like it has a longer wheelbase than a D21. It's like your, if your front tires touch your back tires... Does it even need both? I don't know that it does. Well, maneuverability. I suppose. Override. Was that their way of making four-wheel drive where the front tires just touch the back so yeah. they all turn? Well, they yeah. were so... You didn't buy mud scrapers no. for your D21, you know, you did you? Do you? Do I mean, they just, yeah. just put your feet yeah. down there. Yeah. They're, they're real close. Yeah. What did it take them till 1994 or five to get the gear shift out from between your feet thereabouts? Well, at the same time, you got live PTO to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yep. yep. Pretty yep. much. Yeah. And then we went to the turf tread front tires, which yeah. is a great strategy. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's all they was doing was pulling bush hogs. I mean, they yeah. weren't really doing any that's true. heavy Could tillage. That's field work. Really. <laughs> if, if they did, let's face it, the head, gla- the head gasket went this way, connecting rods went the opposite Well, way. if you can get in that Cracker Jack cab, the one with the angled door, without knocking yourself like unconscious on your way in. Yes. Maroon belly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. maroon yeah. belly. If maroon you belly. can get in that cab without passing out from stupidity, you're something special anyway. Then you got these controls. It's like the control guy and the cab guy didn't know that they were doing both because the control guy just built these randomly just on this pedestal, and the cab guy's like, shit, I got to build around these? I didn't think anybody would get into this damn thing. We didn't have to integrate this whole process. Yeah. Meanwhile, the kill switch is beating against your leg. Yeah, no big deal. Did you know that the actual engineer that designed the maroon belly with the they shifter up engineer. through the floor no it's not really an re- engineer it was okay. rat fink from the 1950s comics with the shifter up above his go. head like Tall that, that before, exact, was, yep. before yep. Yep. Thing. yeah so ahead of their time that's where all the truckers so once again everybody rips Cody off so yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah yep i'll be damned yep makes sense shifter above your head her shifter with the eight ball on it. Ready yep. to roll. Eight ball was actually optional with the luxury cab on the maroon bellies. Gotcha. Well, you'd, yep, have you'd, have have you'd, you'd have to shoot an eight ball to run one of those all day. <laughs> True. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. Looks like it anyway. Yeah, what is the big deal? You know, maroon belly or not? I mean, it's like they act like that's the gold demonstrator. No, the maroon bellies really suck. The next version sucks a little less. That's gotcha. how that goes. So when you're on LSD and you're tripping yeah. balls, the maroon color doesn't jump out and scare you as bad ah, as some of the other brands. So that's you. the only way they got you to buy an Alice Chalmers. Let's paint the hoods orange. We'll paint the rest of the treasure maroon. Yeah. That it's literally there. like they were using maroon primer, and they just ran out of yeah. orange paint. They're like, yeah. ah, yeah, fuck it. Well, Close well, to well, this. Yeah, that's, that's probably fine. <laughs> we're good. Probably Nobody's going to buy this fucking thing anyway. Yeah. Just leave, it, leave <laughs> the primer on it. <laughs> good to go. It's the same color everybody else painted the inside of the rear end housings and engines and yeah. stuff. Yeah, hey, hell, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Got yep. about, got about cheap. Yeah. Well, that's that's what happened. IH was like, 
we need all this primer. It's actually for, the, for the same inside. color as the inside of a yes, it is. I your end, yeah. Yep. And yep. then they were like, oh, we ordered way too much. Yep. What are we going to do with this? We'll sell it to Alice. Alice. Yeah. Alice is Alice like, yeah. Yep. No. I, I believe it. I, I think there's something to it. I, absolutely. And they save so much money, they didn't even paint the gleaner. They like to hell with it. Yeah. I mean, literally, the Baldwin brothers, when they come out with the gleaner combine, they I literally think they tore the tin off their shed just to kind of wrap all the parts in because it was galvanized, and it's like, close enough. Yeah. I'm Could surprised they don't still have the fucking ribs in the tin on the side of these new ones. Yeah. I, well, did you guys know <laughs> that you ever notice that there isn't, you never see a gleaner more than like five years old? They're sure. just like, what, what happens to all these used gleaners? Have you noticed gleaners are disappearing? Old gleaners are disappearing? What franchise of fast food restaurant has taken off in the last 20 years? Chipotle. How do they decorate Chipotle franchises? It's all galvanized tin on the inside. Nice. Never been in one, couldn't tell you. I what, there's no Chipotle down here? There is. There, there is. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I never They're been against one. production agriculture. Piss on them. I don't like them. Which would be Alice Chalmers because they're not producing anything yeah, anyway. Exactly. So it makes right. sense. Yeah. It all right. adds up. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if that's why Fent made their combines black because Agco is so used to their shit burning to the ground. We're just going to make the new one black. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I don't know. We'll streak the paint. Yeah, yeah, just a hypothesis. I don't know. Your insurance rates are lower with the black combine because yeah. then they don't have to repaint it when it catches fire and they put it back out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saves a ton of money. Could be. Fent may be a really good combine. I don't know. I've never ran one, but I just... I figured everything else I'd go that just burns to the ground. So they just make go ahead and make it black, get it over with. <laughs> There's a lot Move of on. things I've never tried that I. True. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the people who got fin tractors really like them. Yeah, the fin tractors good. I mean, there's people that try a lot of things that really seem to like them that I don't want to try either. This is true. So that's true. Yeah. Once again, brought to you by Reichman Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Serving all of South Central Illinois since 1923. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <Yeah>. My bad. <laughs> yeah, we didn't invite these assholes. They yeah, just showed, they just up. showed yeah. up. You didn't invite me. That's what, okay. that's what we get for not locking the door. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yep, I don't know where we go from here. I don't. I so, don't. What else did you see at the show, at the farm yeah. show? Anything else cool? And then you had you just couldn't live without. You just thought, man, that's really the cat's meow. Pivot Bio. <laughs> Are they a sponsor now? <laughs> no, kidding. you need some of that though. No. Yeah, that looked good at your farm. I, no, we we can't talk about. It. Anyways, okay. Um, what else really caught our eye? Precision planting is a cult. I'm just going to say it. Oh, yeah, it yeah. is. Yep. Because he doesn't have earmuffs on, so he yeah, can't really hear. Yeah, yeah. you're so, totally offending yeah. your friend, yeah. but I mean, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. This is my thoughts on precision planting. Great product, works just as advertised. It'll stamp that shit out, just yep. boom, boom, boom. I don't know that it equates to higher yields. That's all I'm getting at. That's all I'm saying. Yep. But it works as advertised. Yeah, that sounds accurate. Yeah, it works. So I don't foresee them hitting us up for a sponsorship anytime yeah. soon, but that's okay. Yeah. We got freedom of speech here. Yeah. We're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Still America in here. That's right. Yeah. 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 America. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We should do some would you rather. That video that we did, the would you rather uh, Gleaner versus. Oh, yeah. Hillary Clinton. And, yeah. Yep. We should ask Nick. Sitting right there. I'm right here. Go for it. Whatever you want to do, bud. I'm here all night. <laughs> I'm here all week. Yeah. Yeah. Literally all the time. Yeah. Okay. Can be. Yeah. I need I need time to think about well, we you, you think, we but we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. come back around to it. You're, you're, you're putting me on the spot. As, yeah, we'll come back as around the to the press secretary say we'll circle back. Yeah, yes. we'll, we'll circle back to that. Hey, can, Mitch, can, Mitch I do, can I do a Mitch McConnell? I was just going to say. Your answer, Mitch, you let us know. Yeah. We'll get back to now, it. Now, for my impression of yes. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't laugh. You're, no. you're, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. That's spot on. Yeah. Spot there's on. there's too much noise. Yeah. <laughs> How about if we all list everything that we like about Gleaner Combines? As Mitch McConnell would say. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long no, night. No turret auger. No, because you know turret augers are just falling off left and right. No, 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 no turret auger on right these terrible. things. That's the only selling point of the Massey 510 combine was the fact it had a turret yep. auger. Yep. Yeah. Granted, we can't unload with our gleaner over anything more than three feet tall. But by God, it ain't got a turret auger. There's just so much less moving parts. I do. Yeah. What would happen to the resale value of Easy Trailer Daycon gravity boxes if you eliminated the Gleaner Auger? Yeah, they're done. Yeah. Yep. So that, there's still that one guy that's got like all the Daycon gravity boxes left, like 250 bushels, and he's like, it's like little giant. Gleaners. Little giant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also galvanized, by the way. Yeah. Matching pair. Yeah, absolutely. Nobody screams BTO like having matching harvesting equipment. Exactly. That's true. I agree. That's absolutely. True. There was a ship pot full of gleaners around here when yeah. we were getting still a lot for the area. Yeah, your corn will be two points drier with a gleaner. Because by the time it makes its circle of life <laughs> down the hallway of death. No, now everybody argues with me. It does not change directions. It comes in the right side and goes out the back left, but it does yeah. not yeah. change well, directions. Way, the feeder house is 456 miles long. Yeah. The feeder house chain. Yeah. Uh, that gives it plenty of time to. Yep. Yeah, I need a feeder out. house chain for my gleaner. Okay, well, you got an 18 wheeler and a low boy. We'll get that right <laughs> out to you. Yeah. 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 Come on back. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> so I've been shopping for a gleaner head, but they asked me <laughs> what month it was built in yeah. because it, it only fits like yeah. within right. three weeks' time. Yeah. Well, well, like Mike and I have often talked, go gleaner and you go to Draper, you're taking five feet less. Yeah. Everybody else, you're taking five feet more. But there's too many bevel gears on them. Yeah. They turn hard. They turn hard. But they're super great. They flex like one to Two millimeters. Yeah, and all the guys are telling you how good they flex for cutting Milo fucking three feet off the ground. But, you know what, I'm, uh, I'm not here to judge. I'm no. just saying. <laughs> yeah. Huge grain tank. You know why? Because they can't unload it. So you got to pretty much carry it all with you. Yeah. Whatever you can manage to get in this tank that you didn't blow out the back, you got to yeah. carry it with you to the end because you can only unload once. Well, then you wouldn't sell cover crop seeders if you all had gleaners, Well, right? that's true. That's true. true that's story. a big thing now. So. Mm-hmm. Gleaner, so now, time. do you qualify for an equip grant if you buy a gleaner combine? No, that's a good question. You really should. Yeah. I think so. I think you should too. Mm-hmm. I'm a conservation farmer because I believe in VT. I get it. I'm with you. <laughs> yep. I, I mean, because you. any tillage equipment that weighs more than the tractor. If you pull a disc fast enough, it cannot compact. Nope, it doesn't it, have it time. Won't. It doesn't have the time. It just won't. It's the laws of physics. Yes. If you take disc blades and you move them closer together and you pull them faster, they don't compact. Yep. Because, I mean, we all know that a, a disc, let's, should we all agree on what, what makes a disc? I'm going to say cone blades. Would you agree? Yep. Yep. Arbor bolts. Yep. And then um, gangs running at an angle, right? Yep. yep. So all these... VT tools they're selling right now don't have arbor bolts, gangs that run at an angle. Have you ever seen blades. office space? Oh. So what do you do? I, I I take the orders and I take them to the engineers. You physically take the orders and, and take them down to the engineer. No, my secretary does that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do here? Well, no, the, pretty much the same concept as the VT thing. So you're, you're moving dirt lo- laterally. Yep. And it looks like a disc, and it acts like a disc. Yeah, but is it a disc? No. No, it's not a disc. No, I, it's not a disc at all. But it does the same thing as a disc. Yes. And it looks like a disc. Yes. But it acts like a disc, but it's not a disc. Yes, exactly. Now you're on board. Now you're finally seeing it. So I think what qualifies a disc versus a VT is the MSRP on a, a VT should be yeah. in excess of 100 grand. Well. It should be. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I'm really sorry, I Fucked up your sponsorship with Great Plains now. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. Grant and They're throwing and, handfuls of money at us, and you just yes. ruined it. Yeah. That's Fuck. okay. Yep. That's all Where right. We go. don't need their money. Fuck, Fuck them. Yeah. We don't You're need it. a sponsor. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. Reichman Brothers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Once again, sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I agree. It's, I don't know. Well, suckered born every day, right? Yep. That's yeah. what we call them in our, our area, except for the Salford. Salford is no. not run on games. No, but doesn't. everybody else, we call the them a high-speed disc. Because they are a high-speed disc. Yeah. No, I I do want an RTS yeah. Salford with the individual ones yeah. with the big spring. Well, quit being a cheapskate and buy one. Yeah. What are you waiting on? 
Yeah. I don't have Central Illinois farmer money, but. But you got dairy cow money. Yeah. No. You sold the herd. You got money running out your yin yang. That left a long time ago. That's called old money. Yeah. That's the best kind. No. no. Four kids and a wife spent the old money. Hey, these things are like a draper. You back them in the shed, they make you money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Precision planning. You got all that stuff? Precision planning, drapers. You can literally graduate high school, back a high speed planner in the shed, and a draper right beside it, and you will make so much money without ever leaving the shed. You'll retire in 10 years. What about yield 360 Y-drops and oh, snapping yeah, roll? Yeah. Oh, that, that's more like so your retirement. a high-speed disc with hydraulic row cleaners, the yield 360 brushes to clean off the blades, and a draper belt I'm going to drag behind it. Yeah, I'm going to be so wealthy you won't even know who yeah. I am. And if you like, have smart farmers we'll that say, that, hey, yeah. you're planting in 32-degree soil, yeah. and oh, just keep on going. All. Oh. And I'm going to pull all with a gleaner. Yeah. I'm going to beat you all, though. I'm going to go package. old school and get a call packer, but pull it with a tractor on tracks. Oh, yeah. 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 Now you're talking. Yeah. yeah. That's the full package. Yeah. I liked what I did like when we walked into the Farm Progress Show, and there was a Case IH row track because the tracks don't compact on the back, but then with that big rack of weights on the front with your tires, you can pack the shit out of it. So No, see, the, the weights are for a totally different purpose. They have nothing to do with ballasting. That's so when your dipshit hired man runs into shit, it doesn't knock the grill out of the truck. Oh, That's what the right, weights are for. All right, all right. The weight, you have to, even if you don't need the weights, you have to have the weights because otherwise the grill's going to get caved in. See, That's been my experience. See, in, in Wisconsin, it's different because most of the guys drive their own tractor. But I forget Central Illinois. Yeah. You know. They don't need autonomous yeah, tractors. Because you guys are driving your tractor to the bar because you don't have licenses anymore well, is not really. I could literally <laughs> name people that did that. But, like I could, I know, could rattle them off. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. My yeah. next purchase, though, Thunder Creek trailer for fifty grand to haul fuel and death. That's way more than an eighteen wheeler. I mean, what fucking point are we just going to get eighteen wheelers and just start fueling shit up? I mean, this is fucking unbelievable. Well, if you're a BTO, doesn't the fuel supplier just meet you at the headlands? Not according to Thunder Creek. we got to get 50 grand out of a fucking trailer to haul fuel to the combine. Well, that makes you a bitch, yeah. right? right? If you're a real BTO, I expect the fuel supplier to be there at noon. I agree. And at sundown. Otherwise, you're a bitch. You hear that? You yeah. heard it here first. It's time to combine all of our acres and take BTO to a whole new fucking level. Yeah. We're not yep. weed eating around telephone poles anymore. We're planting flowers. We're running TV commercials. You want top dollar for your land? Rent it to us. Yeah. I mean, we're doing we're yep. doing all the shit. Yep. BTO package. And in fact, come to us. We'll consult you right I, through it. As a matter of fact, the Koch brothers themselves are going to come and fuel up my equipment oh, on the headlands. Yeah. The the Koch brothers themselves. Yep. Not their kids. Not the secretary. I agree. Because I am a real BTO now. Yeah. Well. You had two longer John Deere, you'll need somebody to fuel it up. No, set the Nebraska hey. fuel economy records to the 80s. This is our next YouTube channel. We're getting all the cool shit. Thunder Creek trailer to fill up a fucking John Deere A. There you oh. go. I mean, we're, we're just going to take oh. this shit to the Maybe next level. you take a gleaner and you make the whole hopper a fuel tank. There you go. Because they've got a big hopper, and you can just drive. Maybe you can make the auger, the nozzle, drop a hose out of that. Then you can reach over a ditch. You don't even have to pull into the guy's field. You just swing over, swing it out. Boom. Boom. You're there. done. Yeah. Gosh, this. These are good ideas. This is how innovation are. starts. They are. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure that, that Zach Johnson did this exact same conversation with Randy, the Master Pipe player. He probably, you know what? I actually had to fangirl him yesterday. Him and I had been messaging back and forth all through the farm show, trying to meet each other, meet up. And he finally texts me. I'm down here. Get out here. So we went out, and I actually got to meet Zach Johnson and drink beer with him yesterday. I had a great time. You didn't show him your nipples, then. I did not. Did you? Okay, I, I thought maybe it, when and you said actually, fangirl, but he, I was like. He's actually a big old tall drink of water. He's like Nick McCormick tall, like big guy. Okay. Yep, but great guy. Had a great time. We I'm had much, a good. How much you might call Husky? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Portly, yeah. Some, somewhere in there. Yep. We had a good time with Randy down there in Des Moines, didn't we? Oh, we did. Randy is an animal. Like he is. I'm going to bed at like one thirty in the morning. Randy's like, "Oh, hey, get to bed. We're going up down to this such and such bar." And I'm like, uh, "We won't say what kind of bar." Well, yeah, I, I yeah. don't know where he went, yeah. but I'm like, he, "Now I'm going to go to bed." Yep. Because I don't know if Randy's married, so I don't know what kind of bar yep. he went to, but no when to say when. Yeah, yep. it wasn't. Yep. Wasn't anywhere I was I'm not, going. I'm not good at that. We are literally 
eight hours past my bedtime at this point. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it well, is, you, got, more, you Wisconsin guys are on Canada time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, do, that's do, you want, do you want to know a cool story? I don't even think I told you this. So uh, the whole deal in South Dakota when we all went out there yep. for Hack PhD and Rob Sharkey was looking for guys to interview or whatever, and he was just yep. asking. He's like, do you know if anybody's coming out that I can interview? And I said, well, yeah, Ryan Kelly from Wisconsin. And, of course, he didn't know yet. I don't even know that he followed you on TikTok. And so he did. He did? Okay. You're, you're really making me feel bad. Okay. But go I, on. I, go I on. I was go sure on. if he did Zach, or not. Zach Johnson does follow me, too. Does but, he really? But, okay. But, but whatever. So, you know, I didn't know. It's fine. Because I think when I first threw the name out, I, think, I don't remember if I threw your personal name or your tech. I don't remember which which one. I, th- I think I threw your personal name out. And I don't think he made the connection of who it was. But I told him when, I, when he texted me, I'm like, so this guy's from southern Texas, got a real heavy southern accent. Check <laughs> and he texted me back a little bit later. He's like, "You asshole!" <laughs> uh, Rob Shark, he's a good dude, solid individual. Him and his wife both. He name. is. He is. Um, he enjoyed my story about you know. It, it's too bad in the podcast because he enjoyed the interview enough. He said, "You got to be on the podcast." Mm-hmm. So he called me right away. I thought that would be like, oh, one of these days, and he. Called me right, a little stalkerish. I gotta say, I mean, it's mm-hmm. a little creepy. You'll have that, like you know, if I would have been like a twenty-one-year-old girl, I'd have been block. Uh-huh. You know, you yeah. know. But <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, he he liked my, but they they edited the story out. That still, if you want to talk about Wisconsin, when I bought the first forty-four fifty versus the seventy-one thirty Magnum, it was because I had a twelve nineteen John Deere Haybine. And on TikTok, I learned that I was an idiot for buying the 4450 instead of the 7130 because if I just would have cut hay with a 16-foot hay bind instead of a 1219 John Deere hay bind, I would have been able to buy the Magnum. I mean. Makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So if only I would have had more money, why didn't I just ask my dad? You should have. Cody Gare would have. Yeah. Well, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Got it all covered. <laughs> of all the things, I talk to Cody all day, every day, and he's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> of the one thing that stuck is daddy's money on everything. His dad's oh. not involved. His dad oh. ain't involved in any of that. Nope, but we beat him up oh on my God. every chance we get. We laugh our asses off. I mean, he cannot make a single video. Did your dad pay for that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he did. Damn right he did. Yep, <laughs> yep. always throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, it's great. I did have to laugh, though, and him and Ryan made the video when they were in Florida. Yep. What's the best part about Grain Farm being in Florida? I'm like, you're not impressed me in making it to Florida in the summertime. Yeah. That's like, <laughs> my brother-in-law doesn't listen to this anyways, I, but my brother-in-law had, like, something called World Ventures Travel Thing, and it was like a Ponzi scheme for travel. Okay. So if you sign up, and then I get you guys to sign up, then my travel stuff is free. Uh. And my wife was like, he's got this killer deal to go to Vegas. And I'm like, okay, when? August. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can get a killer deal yeah. to go to Vegas <laughs> yeah. anytime. Like, yeah. you don't need to be part of a club. Yeah. Now, you got to remember where Ryan's from. They weren't Canadian wildfires. They were just wildfires. Because, yeah, you know, it's right. pretty much next door. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. oh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a buffer there. That we have Michigan and Minnesota okay. buffering. Us. You know, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. I mean, our state does touch your state. We're now, not happy about now that. When you, we'd, like now, to, we'd like to put a little DMZ in there. We'd like to give you. I, yeah. Literally. North, and we got to be fair it. on this, too, now, because we probably have some listeners who don't really look at a map. When you say we got Michigan in there, you've got like 10 feet of Michigan between you and Canada. Yeah. You got the That's UP. Yeah. The UP, which you guys technically own, I still think you should go well, back to Wisconsin. It, it should. Yeah. Even, I don't know if you'd want it or not, but nonetheless. I want to redraw the map. I want to redraw the map. And so let's just call a spade a spade, no pun intended. Can we just take Chicago and Gary and all that, and that is a northern sector. Yeah. And that's its own deal because, let's face it, they, they roll well together. Yeah, and nobody and wants them. We take, central, we take central Illinois and, and central Indiana, and we, we merge those two. And maybe we'll even take central Missouri, and that's a sliver through the middle. And then we take the southern part of those three states, and we, we put those together. Because the landscapes and the lifestyles commingle, 
and and then everybody's happy, right? And truthfully, I didn't hear anything about Wisconsin, so I think you're moving to Canada. No, <laughs> we're not. We're not. <laughs> we're, not. <laughs> we're not really doing shit with you guys. We're trying to find something to do with Madison. We don't really know what that is. Just because we're attached to Minnesota doesn't make us Minnesota. Honestly, at this point in time, as shitty as Madison is, like you'd be fortunate to be part of Minnesota at some level. If, like if you could give Madison and the Twin Cities their own area, if you could combine those two and separate out the rest of both of those states, you guys will all be fine. You know, you guys talk big, but I swear, I swear, the minute we left Decatur and went south, no matter what radio station, we put the radio on the pickup, all we could hear were dueling banjos. So I'm just saying, I, I, I don't know what I that means. I think you're on satellite radio. I think no, you're tuned no, into, no, no. Yeah. let's talk Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've seen Deliverance. At least we and have they had a Reichman stations. Brothers I mean, sticker on the on the back of the tractor and <laughs> <in> delivered. <Nope. laughs> now, now, while you were at Farm Progress Show, did you happen to see our lovely governor there? I don't know when he come through. I mean, he weighs seven hundred pounds and likes to give yeah. health if advice. If you want ballast, yeah. that's the guy you need. Yeah, yep. He can ballast out a road track, quad track, four track, whatever yep. type of track you're running. But all through can, COVID, as we literally. The, the, he he the, hid in your state. He loves your state. He yeah, went no. to your state during yeah. COVID. Yeah. The oh. TV camera is literally 600 feet from him, and he's still, you can't get all of him in the frame, and we're giving health advice during yeah. COVID. Yeah. Well, now you need to do this just to save your life. I'm like, you're literally a walking fucking heart attack. Yeah. You weigh you 700 that, pounds. You know and why the Goodyear blimp doesn't come across Illinois anymore? Because there's not room for both. Exactly. Can't have him and the blimp. Yeah. So not now, enough airspace. Is your lieutenant governor Jared from Subway? Pretty much, basically. Okay. All right. Yeah, could be. I don't know. I try. I try to not watch anymore, but it just irritates <laughs> yeah. me at this point. Yeah, it's awful. Well, Lake and Cook County. So now, when they give the election results, do they just say it looks like Lake and Cook County took? Like literally, yeah. if you want our ele- yeah. election results for the next ten years, I can give them to you right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty I know sure. how it's going to go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. And every the, every year, downstate Illinois does the same thing. We count our votes so fast, we're so happy. We turn them in really quick. Seven oh three, our votes are turned in. Chicago's like, all right, let me get my pencil. Okay, they yeah. got this many. We need this many. Yeah, we win. Sorry, but every see, year. at the end of the day, that's why why we are so pissed at Minnesota because even Ronald Reagan, they're like, fuck, we can't cheat our way out of this. We one. can't cheat our way around. <laughs> he this won one. Illinois, but Minnesota's like, oh no, 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 no he didn't no. win Minnesota. We I got, mean. Forty-nine yeah. state landslide. We couldn't pull up all fifty. Uh, yeah. Walter Mondale was from Minnesota, so he had to obviously have some connections to pull. Apparently, he had a really good. You know, daughter. you would think being from Minnesota, those people would have known better. Like yeah. this guy is a dipshit. We shouldn't vote for him. He's been around here a long time. He's not good. <laughs> no, the one place he's from is the one place they should have known not to vote for him. Wasn't he in like Carter's cabinet too? You're not helping your cause. I know. I'm, it's not yeah. my cause. I'm not in was, Minnesota. Was Carter physically able to open a cabinet, like mentally and physically? Probably not. Yeah. And yeah, he Tina. still won't die. It's just yeah. like, oh, my God, yeah. Jimmy, just fucking give up the ghost. For yeah. God's sake, you've had cancer. You've fucking done it all. Just yeah. stop. Yeah. He doesn't have a peanut allergy, though. No. Uh, he gave farmers a bad name. He did. Yeah. <laughs> you think Mitch McConnell's any fucking bad name? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, at this point, we're worse. I mean, Once I would again, just... the message brought to you by Mitch McConnell? <laughs> yeah. Silent. <laughs> and so, we're done. Yeah. So at this point, our president, what, he's not, is Mitch minority leader in the Senate at this point? Or I don't know. They're, they're having a shit off on who can shit their pants the fastest. <laughs> yeah. Like, so literally, can we find two stupider freaking people to run this country? Like, literally, we got 300 million people, and these are the two dipshits <laughs> that we put at the top of this fucking teepee. Seriously. Like, we can't find, like, a yeah anybody. Like somebody that got shoved down on a playground anywhere else in America other than these two morons. Yeah. Like, that's the best it and the brightest. It is fucking unbelievable. Two people that you literally wouldn't hire to sweep the sidewalk off in front of your house because you wouldn't want shit trails after the broom. And that's the two guys that we put in charge of the most powerful country in the world. And with this, I'm announcing my candidacy oh of my the gosh. dead woodchuck on the side of the road in front of my farm <laughs> yeah. for president. 
If you, if you believe if, in if, dead woodchuck. Have you ever seen the, 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 the movie Brewster's Millions back in the day with Richard yeah. Pryor? None of the above. That's the campaign we should be running. None of the above. All these guys yeah. suck. Don't vote for any of them. Just, we're yep. done. We're not voting for any of them. Yep. Yep. Zero votes for all of them. Yep. Once again, tonight's podcast is brought to you by Riker <laughs> Records. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Once again, sorry, Mike. My bad. Yeah. We were supposed to mention him, what, 12 times? Yeah, I think so. I think yes. so. Yes. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, this is so fucking you, stupid. I mean, you you wrote this script out, you couldn't write it any stupider Stephen than what we've got. Stephen King is a twisted individual. He yeah. has to be for the stories he writes. Yeah. He, he's like, fuck it, I, I, mean, yeah. I can't even do that. I mean, no. yeah. You guys got me beat? I, yep, I'm out. Yep. Can't pull it off with this equipment. Yep. Yep. We're gonna hire a guy who can't walk upstairs, can't walk downstairs, can't walk on stage, can't talk into a microphone, can't have the same earlobes twice in two interviews. Nope. We're gonna put him in charge of yeah, can't ride a bike. We're gonna put him in charge of everything. The nuclear football. Yeah, that's the guy I want making that decision. Yep. Yeah. But Great the other guy, the, the his opponent talks right. You know, we we can't have a guy who just we can't yeah, we have a guy can't have a guy that, that gives out mean tweets. Yeah. That's we're more into shit and pants yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got a guy <clears throat> from the illustrious state of Indiana, Mike Pence, who says in an interview, the guy is so dumb that he says in an interview that his concern is not with the American people. Yeah. The Ukrainians aren't getting their tanks fast enough. Newsflash, asshat. Nobody in America cares if the Ukraine gets tanks Period. Let alone yeah. fast. So, I could care less what they get. I'm the same way. Does it pertain to me? Uh, nope. That's not my concern. You're literally going to repeat yourself yeah. multiple times saying the U.S. population basically is not your yeah. concern. Your concern is how quick the Ukrainians get their tanks. Yeah. So so how does this work on a presidential... So th- so they had their big debate here, whatever mm-hmm. it was, a week ago, whatever. I didn't watch any of it. All and, I have seen is the clips that have come across TikTok. That's it. Well, and for the record... Uh, dead woodchuck in front of the farm that got hit by a car did not make that yeah, last. Yeah, exactly. And I'm really pissed. Yeah, I, I so agree. So we need, we need to get a write-in campaign for okay. dead woodchuck. We'll, we'll, we'll so on. how does this work, like, when you are at, like, 1%? It's like, you're seriously on the stage here for this shit show. Well, you why why are we... president, ask Kamala Harris. Well, true. You just yeah. haven't paid the man yet. Yeah. Those that's guys run because they get to keep some of the money yeah. afterwards, and that's so, what makes it all yeah. go around. You know, we've all made this joke, and we made the shirts at the farm show about me running for president and this and that. I really think I should, but I'm just going to pull the Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Mr. Reed, why are you on the stage here? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it yeah. can't get any worse. <laughs> no. I, it couldn't. It really couldn't. My wife had the debate turned on, and I was doing some other stuff, but I did hear part of it. I'm like, the first question was about the Oliver Anthony song. There wasn't a single one of those people that answered the question. No. I blame the moderators. I, I want too. one moderator I on want there. Yes or no question. Yes. That actually says, nope, that's a bullshit answer. You dodged a question. I'm going to ask you again. I don't care if we only get one question all night long. Until all those guys actually answer the question that they were given, we're not moving on to the next one. Yep. We're not bullshitting and, around and it. And you know You're they were going to answer. That would literally yeah. be like somebody coming through the door right now and said, I wrote a song that said, farmers are pieces of shit. What do you guys think about it? And everybody just sits here like, well, what do you think? I mean, yeah. they knew goddamn well what was going on. They weren't going to answer yeah. it. No. Yeah. It's bullshit. Nope, they had no intention of answering it. There so here they, we are off on you, politics. You know, they yeah, practiced, I know. we got to get they, back to track. They practiced because, not answering it. That's the best yeah. part. You know they practiced it in advance. Yep. So, meanwhile... Yeah. Brought to you by Reichman Brothers. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> We're there writing a special on Massey 510 Combine. Yeah. Yep. Zero oh, percent interest. It'd be buy one, get one if we could find two of them still out there. But. Yep. That's four cherry bombs. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is. <laughs> what, what was the movie Amber Waves? Of, or oh, Amber Waves with, with Kurt, Kurt Russell. Russell. Yeah. Yeah. He was a young lad. I actually sat down and tried to watch that the other evening. Couldn't pull it off with my echo equipment. <laughs> it was a little rough. Well, I mean, sometimes when we watch a movie, we need to, you know, suspend, you know, reality. Right. And you're like, 
I just cannot believe these combines ran three days in a row. I'm the same Catching way. fire or breaking yeah. down. I, you don't I, know how many days were actually in there, yeah. though. It's Hollywood. You can't I, believe everything you said. I said. looked I at those massy combines like the General Lee. It took like 60 of them to yeah. make one episode. I think that's what we did yeah. on Amber Waves. Yep. Hey, speaking of the General Lee, though, like, oh, we got all these cars stacked up. We kept tearing them up. They jumped the same freaking crick 19 yeah. times an episode. Patch the damn thing in. You didn't have to yeah. keep tearing car after car after car. Yeah. You've already jumped the damn crick in the same ridge. The whole show was filmed on 40 freaking acres. Patch the damn film in. Like, why right. do we keep tearing up cars? Because it was a lot of fun. Well, no doubt. I mean, it was no, a no you, doubt. You know, there's no a doubt. stunt guy that's like, we don't have that technology. Yeah. 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 We, we lost the technology. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like yeah. the moonlight. We yeah. lost that technology. Yeah, we're jump her again, yeah. boys. Jump it again. Yeah. Film it again. I don't know how that happened. But, yeah. you know, and that's one thing, like, so I don't know if you saw that video I did, like, last week. I posted it at the wrong time, but it was about, I had somebody tell me 80s cars. The 80s were great because they had the best music, the best cars and everything, and I'm just like. I love about the cars. The cars were horrible. The cars were yeah. cool for their time, but in the grand scheme of things, they sucked. The, like, the Mustang in the 80s was the ugliest fucking car ever made. Well, I can yeah. fully appreciate a Fox Buddy Mustang. Fox Buddy cars, but, yeah. I'm, I'm Fox Buddy But cars. when I see one now, I'm like, yeah, and they had, like, Ship for horsepower. Ship. I mean, all those. It doesn't matter what brand you pick. So, they were not awesome. Like, I just watched a special I, I on that. Like a 70s is where the cool shit. Camaro. Like 79 Seven, Ford. Like you know, 71. 79 for pickups, 69 for cars. There you go. No, 71 Hard. for cars. No. Hard pass. Mopar. Mopar still had a 426 Hemi. 446 back. 426 Hemi kind of sucked in its day, though. No. They weren't God. popular because they weren't that good in their day. They blew up a lot. I just asked a bunch of old-timers in a shop the other day. I'm like, why did none of you candy asses buy a Hemi? Because they like, were double the price before. 40. They were double, but a couple of them had the money. And they're like, they blew up a lot. Like, they weren't really that world-renowned at the time. They, they were, were like, the gleaner of the day. It's like it was a little cult. Oh. It, took you, it took you a little bit to catch on that that's where you needed to be. They're like, you know, they really weren't that. They weren't better than a 440 back then. In straight line racing, no. NASCAR, they dominated. They had a freaking wing. You can't draft off of them. Of course they were good. <laughs> well, I'm like, you're going to go out there with this freaking shitty Monte Carlo, and this guy here's got a 426 Hemi and a wing. Yeah, you can't catch him. No shit. <laughs> Ford had a Torino. <laughs> they didn't have Clint Eastwood then, though. Clint Eastwood could have caught him in his Torino. Oh, yeah. After he got done beating the shit out That's of the neighbor, all it took was an ox. he'd have caught their ass. Okay? Zip her heads. If, yeah. they, if they would have just had an oxygenarian, or oxygenarian, what do you call an 80-year-old now? Oxygenarian? An 80-year-old? Yeah. Well, I, call him, oh. I call him a congressman. That's, that's, that's oh, what I was going to say. <laughs> I, call, I call him our president. <laughs> yeah. you know. Mitch McConnell? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. In a wife beater t-shirt. Yeah. Like... Mitch McConnell's like a fart after a Mexican restaurant. Silent but deadly. Yeah. Well, and so you're you're this 20-some-year-old gangbanger in a wife-beater t-shirt, and an 80-year-old man is intimidating the ever-living hell out of you? Seems, seems legit. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a baby boomer trying to stretch the truth a little bit. Are you talking about Grand Trino? No. Oh. I'm just talking about 80-year-olds with oh. Ford Torinos, intimidating Young men in their twenties. Have you seen young men in their twenties? They're intimidated. No. They're intimidated by sunlight and work. <laughs> yeah. But when no we were in our twenties, they're not, they're not yeah. all that way. But they are now. Yeah. Well, Tony, I mean, we just face, talked yes. about this earlier. Yes. Drive by your local high school, not creepy like, and just look at the kids coming out of there. Do they look eighteen? No. Hell no. You no. can walk down the hallway and see the pictures of all the graduating classes yep. from yeah. years before. When I was in kindergarten. The guys that were seniors in high school had chops, beards. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, this this dude's like, he's damn near a congressman. He's yeah. so old. Yeah. But now, they got now you walk rings, out there. Tongue rings. Yeah. They do not look 18. You're they like, look so tough. this fucking weasel in sixth grade can drive to school now? I mean, he's yeah. like skinny as a rail, pale yeah. as fuck. Yeah. How is he ever going to run the scrambler or the zipper at the carney? Exactly. It, it just doesn't work. And we hadn't stacked any hay. That's his problem. Yeah. Yep. There should be more dairy cows in this world. Well, there should be a hay rack qualification. But it is fucking sad. When you go to these high schools, I picked my boy up from school like a week ago. It's like, who the fuck are these sixth graders coming out and getting in fucking F-150s and driving home? It's, yeah. it's awful. I've never seen the like. It is sad. Yeah, I mean, who is going to run the tilt world with this? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, with the Alice Chalmers. I mean, we, oh, oh, we have oh, absolutely. Clearly... 
Yeah. Found out where the Alice Chalmers motors have went to the fucking tilt the world and the Ferris wheel. Yeah. Yes. They did, they yep. did solely supply all the amusement park rides. Yeah. So and that when these TikToks came out, I finally figured out like when you were a kid and, and you know the Ferris wheel would stop at the very top and yeah. just sit there. Somebody pushed in the clutch. Fuckers. Exactly. Yeah, they did. Yeah. That's all it was. Yep. If only it would have had live power. Yeah. Sad. Someday they'll get it. Yeah. Yep. It's very sad. Yep. So we got to talk about tractors instead of politics because you guys got Dixie chicked. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Speaking to the mic. Yeah. No. For, Speaking for, the, to the, for the record, he's literally talking about a microphone. And there's <laughs> yeah. no innuendo there, yeah. Nick McCormick. Hey, I, yeah. I'm just trying so to. So, what do you want to talk about tractors? What do you want to talk? Let's talk about right. tractors. Where so, do you want to start? The beginning of tractors till now? So, we're talking 4010 on? Where, where oh, do you want to start? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, styled, unstyled, gab, no good. We don't care. You you lead, yeah. we'll follow. Yeah. Lead and follow. It's your first time here. Hey, Fair your mic, your no, mic just enough. dropped back down. Look yeah. at that. Son of a bitch. It's not a side console. You're going to have yeah. to actually run it with your hand. <laughs> Shake it a little bit. It'll there, start. It'll work. Yeah. If there was an innuendo drinking game, Nick, somebody just got hammered yeah. in well, the last mm-hmm. minute. Whatever. All right. You know. All right. You do you. So what tractor, family tractor, or one you've owned, would you buy back if you could? Actually, I'm currently looking into buying my grandpa's 4230 back. I don't know if I'll get it back or not. Got a lead on where it's at. Because it was, I've, I've told you about this on yep. a text message. Yep. It's a little bit of a rare bird. I mean, not totally, yep. not gold demonstrator rare, but 4230 year round cab, M&W turbo, straight pipe on it. Was, that was a little bit rare. I mean, that's beyond uh, gold demonstrator rare, I bet. Cause they, who's buying a forty two thirty with an M and W turbo, and a Hineker or year round? Yeah, it was year round. Year yeah. round cab when you could literally buy a forty four thirty. Exactly. I mean, either open station or sound guard. I right. mean, you you weren't Absolutely. going with the year round. And yep. For you my entire a, life, the air conditioner never worked in that tractor. <laughs> they weren't oh, worth. Ever. They weren't worth a shit year round. Exactly. Yep. Totally agree. Yep. Totally agree. Yep. Well, they were the original sound guard. But they guarded the sound from getting out. They right. kept it in the cab right. with you. They right. they protected the yep. sound. I, I would like to have yep. it simply because that was our two big tractors. The forty ten, I've got it back. Yep. And I and that I mean that forty two thirty. I mean they were literally junk. You had to ether that motherfucker in Death Valley at one hundred twenty degrees. Oh. If you just shut it yep. off thirty minutes ago, sucked on fuel. Nothing great about it at all. But I spent a lot of time in that tractor. Yep. And I've got a lead on where it's at, and I'm. Gonna try to buy it back. I don't blame you. And then I'll literally have the clip because outside of that, he had a Farm All H. My uncle's got it, which I don't care to have it. And he had a WD Alice Chalmers, and I damn sure don't want it. So I'll I, have the collection back. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you talked about that. I mean, like in my family, we wouldn't have discussed that. Is that right? It, it, it would be like the. The one uncle we don't talk about gotcha. it would be the WD. Gotcha. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. It was actually a WD Alice. Narrow front, of course, with a loader on it. The old Kelly trip bucket loader. I it was mean, a Kelly loader. Yep. You could not get any more. The, did your family make that? No. Yeah. Okay. Just sure. saying. No. The, the, are you K E L L E Y or just, just K- Y? Okay. That's just what y. this was. Kelly loader. Hmm. Remember, like it is trip bucket. Pull the old deal, and it would trip. And did you have a metal handle or a rope? Metal. Okay. So we had a Paulson loader on that when I was a kid. You had to pull the rope. Like the poly yep. rope yep. to pull it. I'll be damned. Spring reset. So every now and then he got lucky. You'd trip it. you get enough momentum to trip itself back. Yep. Otherwise, that's, you that's had to this set was. it back down. Yep. yep. Every now and again, it, it. Yep. Sure enough. I don't know what that thing was four foot wide at the most. Probably not even that. But I remember our grandpa's auction. And I, that, that WD never ran right my entire life. I mean, just. Never ran right. Well, it it ran perfect for an Alice. Well, it, yeah. Yep. I think so on, the, yep. on his auction in, I'm going to say it was 2002 or three, whatever, they got tractor brought 1500 bucks, And that was probably 1000 too much. Right now, there's an Alice guy that cried. Probably so. Yep. I still yep. wouldn't give you that for today, knowing it was my grandpa's. I wouldn't. If it was my grandpa's, I'd probably give less just from the shame. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, 
<laughs> Thank God my grandpa had better taste. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. I never spent no time. I mean, it, that tractor literally sat in the shed until it was time to clean a barn lot out. And you pull it. Other than that, you didn't get on it because it didn't run with the fuck. It had a loader on it. It was just junk. Did didn't you ever it. Did you ever see the movie Sling Blade? I did. So the WD. Or I should say. Would, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the WD would have lived in a shoebox. That's and right. we, we would have put it out yeah. back. Yeah, in, in that's the right. Tool shed. Truth. Yeah, brought to you by Reckman Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True story. True story. Yeah. So Nick, yeah. what what tractor got away? What's the one that got away? Honestly, none of them. I mean, he damn near Mitch McConnell. I thought it was going to take yeah. a little bit to get this out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I loved them all, and we got paid for all of them. It's fine. So yeah. you're literally the Julio Iglesias of farm equipment. I mean. Like, you loved a million of them, just like Willie? For the most part. I mean, if I could have my old 1466 that ended up being our, well, my first pulling tractor-ish, if I could have it back in farm state, Speaking, of, is that still a pulling tractor? Yeah, I mean, it is. is it? I know the guy that's got it. Great guy. I'm still, happy for him. still running. I mean, yeah, yep, no kidding. It is. Um, it's in Southern Indiana. No kidding. Um, I ain't seen that tractor in years. I would take it back, but I mean, we have five fourteen sixty sixes now that I don't love as much as that one. Probably. I remember you guys that one, planted with that tractor. Yeah, that, I mean that one was cherry at the time, but that was also thirty some years ago. So all of them were more cherry thirty some years yeah. ago than they are now. That tractor so. was what, fifteen years old, you know, when it became yeah. a bowling tractor. I mean, yeah. you know. So right. I mean, I didn't I'm partial to tractors at some level, but my dad kind of broke me of that because anytime I started to like one, he sold it. Yep. Like we never we never farmed with functional shit. Like he would buy them broke. We would, you know, get by, he would fix them up, he would sell them. I hate to think how many ten sixty sixes and fourteens my dad owned over the course of his life like it's it's in the hundreds probably is it not so, crazy to think about and i don't know what year your 14 was i mean was it a, like a 74 it was a, it was a 71 actually i think okay so early call, so call it what 22 or three years old when you turn into pulling and dry, yeah. i mean thereabouts that would be literally like now taking an 8000 series john deere tractor and building the pulling tractor out of it yeah it, I mean, and, it'd and be an eighty twenty. Yeah, it and, could be. Yeah, yeah. And for the and for the people listening, like when you see an eighty one twenty go down the track at Louisville, that's that's not an eighty one twenty. Yeah, that's just eighty one twenty sheet metal. Yeah. So kids, Hulk, Hulk Hogan really didn't beat up Andre the Giant. Exactly. Reality life. I, I hate to pull the curtain back. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Really Tractor really pulling yeah. is literally the AWA WWF yeah. Yeah. of. Yep. But that would literally. Yeah. Be like turning an eight thousand yeah. series John Deere tractor now oh, yeah. into a pulling, yeah. you know. Yep. Otherwise, I mean, I, I like the twelve fifty six we used to have. I, honestly, if I had to pick one to get back, and I know where it's at, probably my fifty two eighty eight, just because I spent so much time in it. Um, but I'm good where I'm at. I don't, I don't have to have any of them back. That's fine. Honestly, no, if, there is one. If I could have one back, it'd be my ST three ten stagger. I went to it. The illustrious state of Wisconsin. State um, next to Minnesota that didn't vote for Reagan. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's right there. Hey, Ryan, we, we Ryan. voted for Reagan. Yeah. Well, did. you didn't. You were born in Minnesota. But whatever. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't agree to that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> if I could have one back, that'd be the one that I would like to have back. Those staggers were cool. I'm not tractors. seeking it out necessarily, but my son loved that tractor, and he was brokenhearted when I got rid of it. Was that a Cummins powered Panther then? Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I didn't realize you had that when Max was. Yeah, I thought you'd got no kid. He wasn't very old. I'll be. He remembers it. Um, when the Big Green Tractor come song came out, I always called it Big Green Stagger. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Because I'm not about to support the mothership and yep. all their bullshit. I I would love so. to have a new or well maybe not the new with the stupid looking hood on it, but a newer quad track painted in the old Stagger yeah. green. I think that'd be. I cool. love that. Old green, that 20 speed was badass. That thing had good power. I didn't have shit for lights when I bought it. I mean, I, I put all HIDs on it back when that was a thing before LEDs. Probably had $4,000 in freaking lights on it. But uh, I did love that tractor. Them things would just run. They yeah. they were just a powerhouse. They didn't, they didn't I ran one one spring, ST310 as well. Yeah. Just it was comfortable. It was nice. It was 
whoever had it before me had built this nice side console deal for it, not side console John Deere style. Calm down. Don't get erect. Are you, yeah. are you talking like about the LS side console? Liter- literally, uh, he had built a, a half-assed buddy seat console deal to hold books and whatever. Yeah. What Ooh, Maroon Belly was it? No, Ooh, it was Maroon Belly. Yeah. No, okay. Okay. It was great. Okay. Yeah. Who's Walmart reading was, a book who, who while you're driving your Steiger? Well, but, it, all right, right. The guy had, literally, to his credit, he had the parts book, the service manual, the whole nine in there. It came out of, uh, I realize they all came from North Dakota, but this one came from North Dakota. A farmer, in, a North farmer in North Dakota. That made it and legit. I, and ironically, he had an article in there clipped out from the guy who was just north of us here, who was a Steiger guru. Um, to the tune of literally like going 20, 30, 40. I, feel, I don't yeah, have any. You, I mean, you used to rent out like piles. 20 or 30 staggers. Yeah. At, not that long ago. Yeah. Um, from Bement and uh, had a little article in there and whatnot. He had, like I said, he had all every manual for it that you would ever want. And uh, it was just a nice clean tractor. Never caused me any trouble. It was knee deep in rubber, had firestones all the way around. And that's the one I would want back probably. So what you're saying is you really like green paint tractors. Lime green, absolutely. Yeah. So like sun steel tractors, yeah. not yeah. fiberglass, plastic steel okay. green tractors. For those that don't know, there's only one place four-wheel drives have ever been built, and that's Fargo, North Dakota. Everything else just has eight tires. It's not a four-wheel drive. I hate to bust your John Deere guys' I, bubble, I'm not, but I'm not, John Deere said, no, let's mount yeah. this motor in here rigid and cross a ditch and see if that works. Son of a bitch, it didn't. Let's try it again on the next series. Maybe the next one will be better. Nope, wasn't. And it was not. Stagger owned that market for a lot, of, basically till the 9400. Then then Deer kind of became an almost player, but prior to that, Stagger owned all that. Now, for the record, Nick loves lime green crab steer tractors. Then. No. I didn't, I, mean, anything about crabs. I didn't think about crab steer. I thought you liked lime green tractors. Stagger In your green. Case I- Stagger green. I'll take Stagger Green all day. Does it ever make you wonder how shit ever gets out of development onto the factory floor into production and leaves the factory? Crab Steer being one of those fucking ideas. Who in the fuck ever signed off and thought, you know what? Let's just steer this fucker with cables and just ship it out the door. <laughs> Who, whoever was like, I got some anhydrous and I got this cold medicine. Let's smoke this shit. Yeah. Same thing. It is. It's ex- right? exactly the same thing. And Case had somebody so influential, they said partway through the 9,000 series staggers, let's try this one more time. Yeah. I think yep. this will work. We finally have a good engine. We shit canned all the Case shit. We finally got a good engine. Let's try it one more time and see if it takes off. It did not. That was just the farm show two days ago. We sat up there talking, and we was talking about tractor decals. And I made the comment. I said, do you remember when Case and International first merged? Mm-hmm. Your tractor said Case International yep. on one side and International Case on the other side. Yeah. And they're like, what? And I'm like, I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm like, no, it didn't. I'm like, the hell if it didn't. Yeah. You go look at very first Case International yep. tractors. It was one decal all the way around. It said Case International and International Case. Yeah. Well, Assuming you read left to right. True. Which Which being next, we don't read. Yeah. We don't read. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so Being yeah. next to Minnesota, yeah. I don't know. Well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It it does baffle you a little bit. Of course, there was a lot of internal battles on that whole yeah whole deal. Thank God that cases paint caused you know like lead poisoning and shit, so they had to shit can it. But, was that desert sunset or what yeah. was the yeah? Okay. And once they went white, they really didn't have yep. anything. The last good case tractors were desert sunset. Wouldn't it be cool though to know about all the stuff that's never seen the light of day? Stuff that oh. they designed and built, but just scrapped it and we were talking earlier yeah. one of the when i get it because things have gotten bigger but i think one of the best inventions ever to come out was the john deere row crop bean head they were phenomenal they were better than a draper but i think 12 rows is as big as they ever made them yep i mean they were kind of high made but they worked flawless i mean they were they were a great great head i mean they were high maintenance and they were heavy but they yeah. did do the job yep and, and I and Drill, I drilled beans killed those. They they did. That's right when no till drills come out. But as far as today, if you could take thirty inch beans and line up a draper next to a row crop head, I think the row crop head would outperform the draper. I really do. Speed wise the and bigger as far as question as, is, who did Deer steal that from? Exactly. Because you know they didn't come up with it. <laughs> no. Once again brought it to us by Reaper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know they didn't come up with that shit. Right. There's a farmer somewhere that converted his corn head into that deal. Yeah. They're like, you know. 
And you know, actually, our platform sucks ass. We're going to buy yeah. that deal. And actually, yeah. Barrett and I was talking earlier that you know John Deere actually called that an all crop head, and yeah, I yeah. never ever seen anybody pick corn with one ever. It was always soybeans. Well, yeah. they had to do sunflowers, I mean, right? And, yeah, and, 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 and Milo, wasn't it? Yeah, I cut a lot of Milo with one out west. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you know the big heavy heads, and a lot of times it would snap yeah. over and go down yeah. on you. But but they worked flawless. I mean, you could just fly yeah. through the field with them things. But most guys had an eight row. I knew of one guy that had a twelve row. But I mean, oh, like you said, they were heavy head. as hell. Oh, yeah. We had a six row. Yep, but thirty foot was all you go. You know, nowadays you guys want to run forty five foot. You know, yeah. but they were good, damn good. Did they actually make yield the way a draper will? They could have. I've found a well, few on Marketplace. I ought to back them in the shed and see if... No, nobody marketed it that way. You probably could now, though. Okay. Yeah. So, cause, I mean, really, for you young guys, say all the time, how do I get started in farming? I don't know. Draper head? High-speed planner. High-speed planner. High-speed disc. High, well, VT. Yep. yep. It's VT. Yep. I mean, and all you got to do is build a shop about the size of mine. Just yeah. back that shit in there. With a heated floor. With a heated floor, yeah. It's pretty foam insulation. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Then you can do it. Back it, is- it in there and go to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. You will make money hand over fist. Yes. Right. Yep. Good to go. Yep. yep. We yep. had it figured out. No yep. doubt. I don't know what we're still doing here. Well, yeah. gosh, did we just give the secrets away? Of I think we did. Secret, so secret to life. Damn it. Damn it. hate it when that happens. So did Bear, do you got a tractor that got away? No, I wasn't born and raised on a farm. Did you ever see a tractor sell cheap that you kick yourself for not buying? This message brought to you by Rickman Brothers. Yeah, or Mitch McConnell. <laughs> hey, 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 Mitch McConnell yeah. <laughs> he should be like everything on Rickman Brothers lot yeah. right now. Uh-huh. I kick myself for not yeah. buying. <laughs> Well, never mind. Bear doesn't want any tractors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That would that would be hard though when you see a, a lot of equipment come through the lot. You know what I mean? Like you know, we get to pick from well, not Captain Nick because his dad literally owned hundreds of tractors. But like yep. you and I, like you know, my mm-hmm. grandpa never ever 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 traded anything. It was same equipment from the time I was five years old to the time I was twenty years old. But a guy like him that just sees all this stuff come through the lot, it's like. I mean, you'd really have to take 30 minutes to think about it. Yeah. You know? I I think I'd be like T.G. Shepard for all you 80s country fans. Oh, yeah. Yep. I loved them, everyone. Right? True. Yep. Yep. They're all a little special in their own way. No doubt. They yep. were. They all had their one little thing that you, that you liked. Yep. I still think farming in the 80s and 90s was truly one of the best eras. I mean, I, mean, I can't speak for the 70s because I wasn't alive in the 70s, but... You know, in the 80s and 90s, stuff started getting a little bit bigger, but it wasn't, as my cousin used to say, totally way the fuck out of hand yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it is now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you still got some nice horsepower, a little bit of comfort, but it wasn't just gargantuan big and cost a million dollars. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I... Still had to work for it. Yeah. And, and even in the, seven, or then the 80s and 90s, we were still running a lot of tractors from the 70s. Yeah. You know? Yep. It, still had to operate them. You yeah. just didn't hold the steering wheel. You had to operate them. Right. Well, and and I've defended the 1086 multiple times and said all these people that bitch about the 1086 never had to farm without a cab. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was better I than. I loved mine when I was a kid. Well, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're like, wait a minute. I can set the temp where yeah. I want it. I yeah. can hear the radio. At you the get, time, you get the master you the air conditioner yeah. knob trying to keep the red light from coming on. Yeah, yeah. Like well, that get, comes you get, on. You get yep. it down where, like, you yep. can move that thing just ever so slightly. Yep. Yeah. The yep. 1086 is literally like the John Deere 2 longer. It's like, at the time, I didn't know any better. Looking back now, it's a giant pile of shit. But at the time, yep. it was okay. Yep. yep. You know. Brought to you by Reichman Brothers. Exactly. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I used to sleep behind the seat in one of those. I still don't know how. I look at that space, and I'm like, that's not a good place to take a nap, but I took a lot of them back there. I'll say this. I've had enough of the use tonight that I probably should not drive a 1086. Otherwise, my wife could find me hanging this from a shift true. lever in the morning. It's possible. Yeah. Possibly dead. Yep. 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 Yeah, I just, I would like to find the guy who designed them and just been like, you know, what, what were we smoking the night that we drew this up? I, I just... 
I just watched a YouTube video of like the sales promotion videos of that, and the guy doing the promotion looked uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. getting in the. Yeah. And then he's well, like, the, the guy that designed that was five foot three. His arms hung past his knees, and his legs bent backwards like a dog. Yep, that's how he was able to run all that shit. He had really yep. long arms, and his legs bent the wrong way, yep. and he could run all that shit without getting in a bind. That's how that works. That's actually and they worse. supposedly rode like a horse. Now I don't know how many people here have ridden a horse. But nobody thought those rode that good. That's why they came out with cars. Yeah. With seats that moved. That's actually where JLG lifts come from, was to put fuel in a 1086. Yes. I mean, yes. they started a whole other industry. And for the record, the engineer that... The, At least you didn't end up putting diesel fuel in your radiator, which happened to a lot of John Deere guys. This is true. Yep. Yep. And for the record, Donkey Kong himself, after Mario finally made it to the end of Donkey Kong... They're like, we need to reform him. He went back to school for engineering. Signed the 1086. One thing about a 1086, you know when to get rid of it. When the step starts to rust out just enough where it caves in if you're fat, that's when you got to trade it off. You know, and you always have to keep good tires on IH stuff because you're going to climb the tire in and out. So well, you got to right. have good tires. Oops. Well, and, the Firestone was sponsoring the whole deal. Well, Squiggly treads are no good to slide down. <laughs> yeah. Well, and there's nothing better than rubbing your clothes up against a muddy tire, and they're getting yeah. whacked in the head as you're getting in the... But at least once you get in at 1086, you've got some horsepower, as opposed to the John Deere. You're like, well, I'm in here. I finally wedged my size 13 foot <laughs> through this size 4 door jam. Um, I had to back my ass in here. I need two right hands. Shit, I got nothing. What am I going to do now? I guess I'll quad range my way to three mile an hour <laughs> and hope like hell I know my alphabet because we can't number the fucking gears. We're going to letter them. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try to do something now. Hot Somebody here we go. very jealous that you don't have to stop fucking, the tractor and chip. Vis- every guard. freaking chip. This, that's like every guy that's ever complained <laughs> about the eight-speed power shift being jerky. It's like that's it's not even remotely close to the jerk you get from throwing a torque amplifier ahead. Oh, for it's the love like, of God. <laughs> These guys are so jealous you can't amplify your torque. It's, it's <laughs> shameful. Literally, their torque amplifier. Is it new? Or out. I mean, there's two choices, right? Well, once you put an aftermarket one in, you're golden. Yep. And you guys are just jealous because there's nothing more hard on and addictive. Like, they wouldn't even need Viagra if they had a shitload of good 66s. You crack the throttle, throw the torque forward, you're good to go. You p- you put your hat on the torque lever before you take off because they're going to go fast enough to blow your hat off. I know you oh. guys aren't used to that. All right. And then throw the torque. That is sexy. Nothing wrong with that at all. That's what dreams are made of. There, there's literally, I, I, every graduating high school class in our area had to have that one kid that's like, I'm going to buy a 1066 and build a pull-in tractor. Because there was 40-some thousand of them made, so you could. Yeah. Yeah. So when you do if find If you walked one, up to your pickup truck and the door handle for the, to get in it was in the fucking windshield, would you buy that truck? <laughs> Fuck no, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, if, if they take the two by four in the middle of the windshield and the door handle was in the middle of the fucking hood, no, you wouldn't buy that piece of shit. You know why? Because it's not where it should be. It just and just, this is why I stand by my Hestons because they had an IH horsepower with a good. We're going to claim your John Deere ends are good, even though they sucked ass. We're, we'll we'll call it an IH engine with a John Deere rear end, and you can actually see out of the fucking windshield, which is super handy, coming to find out. Like, being able to see in front of you is not a bad feature. Nick, And they had a sunroof, and you can't put a price on cool. You're just jealous because just saying. Just John saying. Deere match to do with one lever when it took IH three levers to do. Unless you parked on a hill, then you got to call a fucking neighbor to hook no, on to you. No, no, no. stuck in no, park. No, no, no. With an IH, you didn't even yep. have park. You ended up at the bottom yeah. of the hill. And it just, like, gah, 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 yep. it the just broke the reverse and gear tooth at. off and just rattled all the Not way down. if it was adjusted incorrectly. It didn't, it didn't break the paw. It just fucking oh, chattered oh, okay. all the way down. All right, all right. Because <laughs> no, farmers can't fix stuff. We're just going to get by with it. It went out when Grandpa was a kid. But we've got by with it this long. We're not going to fix it now. But hey, now Nick, in his defense, if you can't go out on your IH tractor when it's forty below and start it up, and the engine immediately goes to yes. twelve thousand RPMs yes. and back down, yes, you have nothing. No doubt. <laughs> any word, no doubt. any engine worth that keeping just, should be that able was to, just take to it. let you know that the sun bitch might have actually started, which yeah. didn't happen very often when it was cold. <laughs> We're not talking about forty four thirties. That is the red headed <laughs> stepchild. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. is. Yep. Yeah. Well, the hell with electric. I, wait Ether. a minute. Wait Let's a minute. Wait a minute. We're, we're, we're going to talk about IH out starting John Deere. Like literally, I have a friend. You could light his thumb on fire, and he would never feel it. Like literally, his skin would be dripping off his thumb. You go to the five sixty from holding here's the glow plug. He how, held the glow plug. Here's how you long. start a five sixty <laughs> diesel. Here's how you start a five sixty diesel. You hold the glow plug down to your thumb goes numb. You switch hands to your thumb goes numb. Yep. You switch back to your original hand to your thumb goes numb. Then you go get a battery charger. Yeah. Then you start yep. the whole process over. But if you switch those to to new style glow plugs, they start fine. Put power stroke glow plugs yep. in them. You're good to go. Seven three power strokes. Retap them. Screw them in. That thing so, starts. So in no what time. you're saying, if if international engineers would have just developed a time machine to go forward to the 1990s you gotta remember, they're competing to get their against power the stroke, you're competing no, wait, against the guy. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm following opening your train his of thought. Petcocks and using his hand clutch on something that literally, once it's running, once again, has no purpose in life. Pa, 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 pa. They didn't have a lot of competition. Like, well, shit, glow bugs are cool. Let's try hey, we got it. this forty twenty gas here. Hell, let's just rip the spark plugs out yeah. and jam some injectors yeah. in here. Yeah, we'll put some injectors in these spark plug holes. We'll claim it's a diesel, even though the injection pump slides right down where the distributor is, I, mounted the wrong freaking direction. We'll call it a diesel. Nobody will know the difference. All, all I know, Nick, is if, if this was a courtroom and I was a lawyer, I just would have put my beard down and went, no further questions. Yeah, you, you, you can do whatever you want on that. <laughs> Brought to you by Reichman, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but in, in his defense, I will give you this. The 560 was one of the biggest piece of shit tractors ever fucking. I wouldn't take a 560 if you fucking gave it. I wouldn't. I, they're awkward. They're uncomfortable. I get it. Maybe for the day they were great. After the 560, they had some pretty decent stuff. 506 whips the shit out of a 4020 every day of the week. Here's what you, Here's the benefit you get from a, from a 560. And this happens on almost every 560 I've ever been on. Apparently, they only sold one-length bolts for spinner wheels on the steering wheel. And those were three inches longer than they needed to be. So right when you go to shift and you go to turn at the same time, it cuts the whole top of your hand off. So <laughs> you learn to drive with only one hand because you just cut the top of your left hand off. You went to shift, you went to turn, now you only got one hand. So you can't hardly even run the torque now because your left hand is well, bleeding. Right. Right. But that wasn't International's fault. They didn't make the spinner knob. They did put the, sh- the shifter too close to the steering wheel. But Yeah, I mean, how many knuckles got so, busted somebody at shifting a 560? Somebody at TSC sold those bolts that were just a little too long. And sharp as razors. Every one of them. Now, I will give you this. If we're going to start talking shifters, once you get to the 6030s and shit on the John Deere side, they were tall shifters before tall shifters were cool. Oh, absolutely, because you got to get some leverage on that piece of shit. We're going to run at that. We got, this big, we got this big, bad 6030. We're going to tractor pull this thing. Oh, you want to make 500 horse? Call Engler, get a truck rear end put in it. Yeah. It won't hold yep. it. Oh, you got a 706 gas? You're good to 3,000. 4010? What about a 4010? We got, we got 6030. We got this big three point the size of your fucking pinky. You can't pick up Donald Duck with that son of a bitch. Oh, by the way, it's stuck because the front end weighs 9,000 pounds and you're stuck in the mud. But the, fortunately, only 4,000 dipshits got stuck with one of those new because they weren't worth a shit. That's why they didn't sell any of them. 619 is a factory replacement. Yeah, my, that doesn't bother my, you, right, my, Nick? My aching ass. Factory replacement. My, once again, if John Deere could have built four-wheel drives and put the engine in them correctly... They would have ran out of those blocks 30 years ago. This message brought to you by Rick McBride. Yes. <laughs> but fortunately, those four-wheel drives sucked ass, so they kept having to make those engines over and over and over again. That's why they had the replacement. Let's put the head bolt threads clear at the top of the block. That won't cause a problem. Right. Yeah, 6030s. Real badass. We'll make some NA versions because the 5020 was so awesome. Let's recreate it. The 6030 suck so bad, they're like, we're not even going to restyle this piece of shit. We're going to leave the same style we had on the 20 series. We're going to roll with it, and we're going to replace it with the 4840, which might be the most useless John Deere tractor ever made. Even John Deere guys don't stick up for a 4840. I mean, what in the hell are you going to do with a 4840? It's almost as bad as like a 14 or 1568. <laughs> Those are cool because they sound cool. A 4840 doesn't sound cool. A 1468 sounds badass. Unless it's idling on four cylinders. You can solve that. Rev it up. 
If we can start it wide open for you, John Deere guys, if that helps you <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. We know how much you guys like that. I mean, you, so like being a big diehard John Deere guy. You can blame Massey for that. The only reason they came out of this because Massey had a shitty V8, and somebody I yeah. was like, Massey's doing this shitty V8 thing. We should do it too. I I fully expect when he goes to leave that to just floorboard his pickup yeah, as he turns it wide. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, Woompa. Yeah. Any engine worth keeping, damn well better start that yeah, way. That's how you get oil pressure fast. <laughs> yeah, start them wide open. Uh, true story. It is. That's how you it get is. there. I'll take you all the way. <laughs> so we've determined Nick loves big block John Deere's and absolutely sure. supports absolutely. the 619 as the replacement engine. Absolutely. Yep. 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 No, actually. Nothing better than having this big, bad 6030. Oh, shit. You want to put a P-pump on it with a quick delivery cam. It's going to break the front of the cam off. Yeah, you got to get a steel cam, different timing gears, all this shit. If you want to run four hundred horse, well, you've got a ten sixty six. You can pull pro stock with the stock timing gears; they're fine. Well, yeah, and- yeah. Once again, more because John Deere Solutions always just throw cast at it, but we didn't throw enough at that. The nose fall off the cam, handy dandy. Well, it's a good good plan. To be fair, the forty ten does take a lot, and the small block John Deere will stand up to whatever you need for pulling. For what against the WD? No, I mean, what are we no, doing no, here? No, 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 no. Pulling what? Oh, you can get thousands of horsepower through a forty ten rear end. Yeah, as long as you don't stand close to it. No, you remember the no, Gordy no, no, no. when those tires come wheeling down the track? Every goddamn one they of them hollowed from a out. They hollowed out. Every the one of them from hollowed a out the axles because they were made out of butter. It didn't take much to do it. Oh. Guys, like you don't have a lathe. I don't know. You got like a chainsaw and a. Pocket knife, you can you can haul that axle out. It's made out of shit. Every every tire that falls off at those deals, it's oh, always come a forty ten or a six fifty. Have you ever looked at the housing on a six fifty six rear end housing is just as big as a forty ten. That's supposed to be a whole no, size, tractor size no. better. Forty ten is. I'm just gonna be quiet now. Okay, we're friends. I don't want to pick a fight. I know. I know. We're just, we shouldn't <laughs> talk about tractor pulling because and and I do agree with you. The big block John Deere destroyed tractor pull. And fucked up every class it's ever been in. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So if you could go back in time, so you're going to kill Hitler, right? Yeah. I'd probably go after Stalin. Okay. Stalin, maybe Hitler. We'll, we'll put that after. We pretty much took all Hitler's shit and made it our own. So, I mean, other okay. than the, you know, mass, you know. So you kill the big block. We just turned that into abortion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What about the Massey V8? Well, I'll let them have that. you got to have something. you got to give them something. But, I mean, 640 was built for the Massey V8, right? They had a 510. They had a 540. They got it all. Well, I know, but you're going to put cubic inch limits on it, right? Putting a cubic inch limit, I realize the Massey guys get all three of them, get all fussy about this. They had other options, and let's face it. Nobody farmed with those pieces of shit. Doesn't care. Yep. Doesn't matter. All yep. three fans yep. that came there to watch the Massey aren't concerned about the fact that you just eliminated the one guy that's doing it. Next so, question. Just the big block deer goes. Change anything. Else. What about Mini Mo? They were pretty much done a long time ago. Five main bearings doesn't get you very far. It does not. No. It does not. It doesn't get you very far. But for factory tractor pulling, Mini Mo. I mean, mini mo that the motor that came in it was used, or mini mo that the, that they, mo the that they're that like, they put in it. What if we swap this pump. out? Right, yeah. right. Hey, we we'll get this thousand cubic yeah. <laughs> engine off yep. an irrigation pump that looks just like this one. You know. Yep. That's yep. like you taking a Peter car with a KTA eleven fifty or a big cat in it and saying, you know, there's a guy down the street that's got a Kodiak with a three twenty seven. We we can't <laughs> talk about trucks because then pretty soon somebody's feelings are going to get hurt. Because we, I'm not naming names, but somebody in this room really likes Volvos. I do. I'll take them all day, every day. I'll take, a, I'll take a Volvo every day. And I'm when buying, over if the if top, I'm buying a new truck tomorrow, I'm buying a Volvo. Oh, my that's, gosh. That's all I've had my entire all, life. All day, every day. Yep. My dad and I are close, but we don't need to sit that close together. My cup holder should not be on I, his cheek. I can drive a truck that's by myself. Our, I, don't need two, I don't need two people in a truck with me. Well, just one. Just I, one I needs the to drive. John Deere's didn't have any friends, but <laughs> I, I, we, we took a crew. I mean, somebody's yeah. got to shake the wheel. So somebody's got to drive the Kubota and drag my ass around. i got to take a friend. 
So I'm taking a Volvo. I got I room mean, in there. I mean, my pulling it's tractor comfy. would start it's on comfy. its own. It didn't. It didn't need you know its own ether assistant. No, mine took a fully trained professional. Yeah. If you're not going through half yeah. a case of ether, are you really doing anything? No. We had that, a zero start. We had a zero start right into the intake. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's still not enough. Ah, that got started. Fog no, that thing when it's out. Right, way we, to go. Yeah. Yep. You got to belch a lot of fire. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, if you're doing cool shit, it takes two guys. Cool shit does not involve a Volvo. I'm out. I'm not a semi guy. I'm out. I'm, and I didn't want to go down this road. I didn't. I didn't want to call you out for being a Volvo guy. The word I like people. Suits. I love the way yeah. they look. My thing is, I don't want to rub shoulders with the guy rubbing next to me. I don't want to have to wait to cross my legs in the I, passenger seat until he gets done shifting into high I, gear because otherwise my foot's in his way. <laughs> That I seems guess, like a stupid problem to have. I guess I've never gotten a lap dance from another man when I drive a truck. But you I, I, maybe maybe it's common. Maybe it's common. I, I'm not judging. You know why they, I'm they, not judging. You know why they put Peterbilt in that oval? Because rough riding overpriced piece of shit won't fit. <laughs> I love the way they look. It would be my second choice at this point in my life. Because I will give Peterbilt one thing. You never see a turbine guy driving a Pete. I don't know if their floorboards are harder to cut a hole in for them to shit out of or what, but yeah, you hardly ever see that. It's, I mean, yeah. I used to be afraid so. when you'd look in the rearview mirror, you'd see a bull rack with a Peterbilt coming. You're like, that guy's probably whacked out on something like that. Now I see a Volvo, a shitty looking Volvo coming in the rearview mirror, and you're like, guy probably doesn't have a driver's license. He's probably going to shit on me when he drives. He by. might be. And you see yep. a Peterbilt, and you're like, I can't tell if that's a '63 model or a 2023 yeah. model because they literally. They're still riveting them together like Rosie the fucking Riveter. We haven't changed anything on yep. that. It's like, ah, just hammer it together, put some rivets there. It's fine. Hell, it'll be okay. We did change the headlights, though. We changed the headlights three times. It's a whole new model yep. if you change the headlights, which is why John Deere people like Peterbilt's because they're like, oh, you swap the intake pipe and the exhaust pipe, whole new model, and you switch the yep. seat, whole new model. That's the 55 series there. That's revolutionary. We swapped the intake and the exhaust. Totally, totally different deal. And Peter yeah. Brose, or the ones I used to run, had the split windshield. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. you can't see. Yeah. And the Peter Brose guys are all pissed off now because the new one doesn't have the bar yeah. in the middle. It, it doesn't. They're, sound, they're the sound guard, they sound guard of trucks. <laughs> Yeah, so when, look, the gears are straight. It's like, holy yeah. fuck, I never thought about that. Yeah. But they do. Yeah. That no, God they, they that. When you get home, you're going to have a split windshield in your pickup truck. I already called a guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> what you don't realize, I already have tile tape down the middle no, of the windshield have. of you my pickup. Have. So You should have. You know. Yep. I mean, Does your Pete go to 12,000 RPMs when you start it and then back down? No, or is it just... no, 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 no. Gotcha. No, no, no. Nope. But, I mean, over the top, what they win? A Volvo. And what? It was a white, actually. Which was bought by Volvo. Eventually. But it was a white. Event, no, that, no, no, that, no, no, that no, 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 no. It was truck, already done. That exact it, truck that was point, for sale was on truck paper like five years ago. It was pretty rough. It had the shit beat out of it. Otherwise, I'd own it. It was pretty rough. And... No, I'm not going to say you have a bunch of sweaty dudes grabbing each other and doing <laughs> things. I mean, I'm just saying. So I don't think you would take Bull Hurley. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I Smokey and the band it. at three. You I, had Snowman driving to Peterbilt. And I mean, who's cooler than Snowman? You you name me a truck driver cooler okay, than Snowman. Okay, let's back what? up here. As much as I love what? Smokey and the Bandit, the Trans Am was an epic pile of shit. Oh, I'm not talking about the Trans Am. <laughs> I mean, who. But, but you're sticking up for the movie, which was a great movie, but. If we're justifying it via the vehicles that are driven in it, nothing was shittier than a mid-70s I never, I never once seen Snowman and Bandit get all sweaty and grab each other and stare lovingly in each other's eyes while they... So I'm just... I'm not judging you, Nick. I'm not judging you, Nick. I'm just saying, you know... I'm just saying if you think you could take Sly Stallone when he turns the hat backwards and flips the switch... Yeah. And he, he was, was even know. hauling... He was even hauling Heston hay by you. He the was hauling Heston. Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. 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 He wasn't driving a Peterbilt. That was uh, I, the, his first truck. Was that a pack car? Well, no, it was a, it was a auto car. Auto which car, auto car. owned by Volvo. It was an yep. auto car. Auto car. Auto car owned by Volvo. Yep. So, do, so do you got grips yep. and the weights in your trucks when you're driving down the yeah. road? You're fucking pumping you iron. Or not? No, you <laughs> no, you just <laughs> pump the other guy that's sitting next to you because he's sitting literally right next to you. It's like you want to shift to third? No, 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 no. Hell, let's team do it. We'll both nope, get nope, it. No, nope. hold us. It's tall. That's we'll a both, Volvo thing. We'll both grab it. <laughs> Once again, brought to you by Ryan. Right, 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 yeah. 
for your homoerotic tractor yeah. fantasies. Yep. <laughs> the air cleaners with a light in them so that the air can see its way in there because otherwise it'll never find its way. <laughs> Only thing you see out of the mirrors is the bunk because the cab's half the width of the freaking truck. Yeah, you're right. Can't open the door because yeah. the air cleaner's in the way and the exhaust pipe's bar- blocking the rest of it, so you burn the shit out of yourself every time you get in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. I'll take my Volvo. I got no problem with it. Hey, it's fine. I mean, uh, the sweaty dude manhandling contest winner right. got himself a Volvo. Absolutely, he did. You know, he did. <laughs> then he kicked the shit out of a Russian the next week. So you know, you mean you mean the CEO of Agco, Ivan Drago? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, when Ivan got in charge of Agco and was like, <clears throat> "American, I must break you." <laughs> <laughs> You're like a piece of galvanized steel. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Because, I mean, nothing screams American agriculture company like Massey Ferguson and Fent. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Just the name Fent is American. Is it, I oh. mean, that's like oh. synonymous oh. with Marlboro, oh. man. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, there's the truth there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This segment brought to you by Mitch right. McConnell. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> For president. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's hope he runs. That's the guy we need. Who else is going to shit their pants the next four years if we don't have Mitch wow. McConnell? Right, right. <laughs> Can't wait for his State of the Union. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at least... So who stands and who claps and who sits? Yeah. They'll all be like, what? Yeah. What? No uh, doubt. I don't get it. Yeah, they were showing this morning, you know, and they were starting to talk about all these dipshits. You know, they're wheeling Diane Feinstein down the hallway in a wheelchair because, you know, shingles that apparently got the best of her. I'm like, this is really the best. She, should, we she didn't can get do. the vaccine for that? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Come if on, we're going to literally reanimate corpses and have them for our politicians, can we dig up Eisenhower? Yeah. That and Kennedy. Be, that would be a way to go. Yep. I miss Ike. Let's Frankenstein, Ike. In Kennedy. Well, you that, know what? You know what JFK said mid December? I need this prayed like I need a freaking hole in my yep. head. Yep. 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 Yeah. yeah. I've been to the grassy knoll. I thought the same thing everybody else thought. Hell I could have hit him from here. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's not funny. I there's some things about Kennedy I liked. He was Irish. He was more conservative than any Republican in oh, Congress today. He, oh, yeah. he would have beat the shit out of Teddy. Let's just face it. Yeah. Had he lived, he'd have beat the shit out of Teddy oh, for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No more Viet. There wouldn't have been a Vietnam. There wouldn't have been a Vietnam War. He would. That's yep. why he got shot. He was yep. going to stop it. Yep. Yeah, before it got started. But it the never military fails. industrial complex it, it never fails. money off that. JFK, you know, you get all these fucking wacko people. They get JFK, shoot him. You get to fucking RFK, shoot him. You get Teddy, they're like, nah, nah, fuck him. We'll just leave him go. It's like the one guy. He'll do more harm than <laughs> no, good. We'll yeah. just let him go. He will he will solve problems oh, for us. No, you know? Ted, Teddy was like, I'm not fucking with you guys. And he's like, I'm not going to run for president. Yep, yep, can yep, I run yep, for Congress? Got, are you cool I, if I just sit here? I, I, I got the message. I, yeah. I got cars to wreck and women to yep, kill. Leave yep, me alone. Yep. Yeah. But I didn't yep. do it. I didn't do it. I, no. Yep. I mean, I, I swam out of there. She was still down the yeah, car. But it was, it was, I just thought she was right behind me. Yeah. When you think great swimmer, I think Ted Kennedy. Yeah. yeah. You get a yep. swimmer's body. Yeah. Leah yep. Thomas, Ted Kennedy, same team, yeah. all the way, gold medals. Yep. No doubt. Yep. Easily. Yep. yep. It's a good thing Michael Phelps didn't have to go against Ted Kennedy. Yeah. He didn't ever won. Yeah. No. He didn't ever made it. Yeah. Teddy was. Human debris? Yes. You're right. Kind of. Yeah. I, I think he drove a Peterbilt. No, he did not. He for sure he had a he sound, I, I'm he pretty had a sure. sound guard doing the work at Martha's Vineyard. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he was in Massachusetts, and that was a yeah. Volvo and, you know, going and, over and the bridge. They only right sold. And the reason, <laughs> and the reason why they didn't find the other person right away was because they needed to swap the body out because his sweaty arm wrestling do partner. You, do you think the reason was he maybe wrecked? not? You know, do you think the reason he wrecked is one of his smart ass buddies put a piece of tape in the middle of the windshield nope. to, to nope. simulate his sound guard on Martha's Vineyard, and that's why he ran nope. off the bridge? Nope. Could have been. Couldn't see shit, nope. officer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not my fault. Yeah. Not my fault. Maybe you needed two right hands to shift. Nope. It's hard to say. 
Nope. They're going to amplify this story. Uh, if only you know what? I bet the gal with it was reaching for the windshield to get to the door handle. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. You want to roll the what? You want to open the window on a, one of those? Can't. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yep. That's what happens. If only she would have been an octopus driver, like everybody that drives a eighty six series international could have been. Yep. At least you got a horsepower once you get it going. Though. Yeah. Yeah. For all we know, she was killed by the door hitting her in the back of the head when she got in yes, the car. Absolutely. We don't know. <laughs> Dead women, women, women she was literally yelling, "Teddy, grab the torque!" When they came women, into the hand, and the fucker slipped. Women can't and drive. And it just went off the road. Most most women can't drive ten eighty sixes because it takes don't a strong man to get the out tractor of down, Teddy, with the torque. Because we put a lot. Because it'll slip. We put a lot of strain on the park thing, so you really got to get a run at that to get nope, out of the park. Nope, nope, nope. It was freewheeling. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Went off the, the road. fucker freewheeled and just. <laughs> Teddy hit the brakes, but it had too much momentum from the torque freewheeling. But you got to admit, this whole thing would have been solved had they had an Alice Chowers because they couldn't even got the fucking cab. Oh, no. fuck. Everybody yeah. would have lived. If they yep. had a case, the brakes would have randomly came on and thrown them into the creek instead of the river. Yes. So, Well, the steering would have just, you know, decided you know, yeah. it wanted to go this way. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you yep. John Deere guys can't say much about that. You were starting John Deere up, watch the tires take off, and you haven't touched the fucking thing yet, and the wheels go yeah, all the way the one way, and you're like, holy shit. You turn the wheel just a little bit, and they go yeah, all the way the other way. You're like, now you're good. Now it functions with the wheel, but before it's on alien autopilot. That happens all the time. Not on mine. Every John Deere I got I've a 40, ever been around. I got a 40-10 that'll do it. Yeah. Every freaking Not time. Everyone I've ever been around <laughs> hey, that way. That was innovative. That was auto steer before auto steer yeah, came right. out. <laughs> yep. Self-priming. Yeah. As long as you don't hold the clutch in too long. <laughs> Once again, brought to you by Rocky right. Road. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Serving Central Illinois since 1923. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not sure Mike can afford this. We've given him a lot of plugs today. Yeah, we have. Oh. He's going to owe us big time. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yep. He's going to be super proud of us. Yep. Or he's going to sue us, one or the other. Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> be a little money change hands. Either yeah, our way yeah, or his way. Yeah, it. yeah, it's it's going to work good. out. <laughs> Could go either way. Yeah. You ever thought about selling semis <laughs> in case things don't work out after <laughs> this podcast? Yeah. I might need you after this. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, you want to sell Peterbilt's. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I've been told, just know the new windshield's no good. And keep your rivet gun handy. <laughs> and wear long sleeves, you'll burn your arms getting in. Yeah. This segment brought to you by Mitch McConnell. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kind of awkward. Uh, well, we've I've got... literally never had anybody with an American accent defend a Volvo truck that I've ever heard. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Usually, they, but being from usually they being say from northern, after every, northern Canada yeah. where you're from. Do you no. know what an American accent sounds like? <laughs> like your friend allegedly lives 12 miles north of you, yet he sounds American, yet you sound cheesy. <laughs> Coincidence? Actually, I think yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah, the guy said here that hasn't said yeah. a word sounds a little bit like we do, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yep. Have you snuck across the border here? Or yeah. What's going on? No, 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 no. How is things up in Alberta and whatnot? <laughs> He's trying to pay Justin, us in maple leaves. Justin yeah. Trudeau is not my... He's not your president? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Yeah. All right. He just drives his Peterbilt tour bus for him. It's fine. Got you. Actually, I think Western Star is out of Canada, which is once again a Volvo company. Is it really? Actually, I think it's Freightliner, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, we're but at one really time, well. they were... White and Western Star were together. White, GMC, Volvo. If you say so. Does Western Star still make trucks? Or do they get out? I think so. Oh, they're a Freightliner, yeah. Dombler, whatever. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Who we got left? Mac? Mac, Mac, Mac and Volvo. Mac is Volvo. Are, yeah, Mac and Volvo are together. They're together now? Yeah. And then... The, the whole what happened with the whole international Navistar? The Germans, the Germans Vol, got them. Volkswagen bought them, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, when I think of heavy duty, I think of Volkswagen Beetles. Yep. No yep. doubt. Yep. I will give them this. They were skirting emissions. I kind of admire that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, that wasn't, yeah, pretty funny how they did it. They're yeah. just like, make sure you use this setting yeah. and you test it. Yeah, no doubt. And then you got whoever owns Peterbilt and Kenworth. That's one company. That's still Packard. Yeah. So. And what Freightliner owns 
Freightliner, Sterling, Eastern Star. It's all Daimler. Yeah, I believe, yeah. Yep. German's got that. Yeah. So one of us is a real American here. Yeah, whatever. Yep. I mean, like, if Hulk Hogan was going to buy a truck, I mean, <laughs> you know, but whatever. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. Keep telling yourself that. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yep. It's whatever. <laughs> not getting offended. I'll be comfortably set in mind, riding easy, not going to the chiropractor in between. It's all right. At least, nope, at, you least, got... at least Volvo knew which way the clutch pedal should move. It should not go through the floorboard. Yep. You've got all the room for sweaty arm wrestling dudes you want. You do. In your Volvo truck. That's fine. If you want to make fun That's... of Sly and Bull Hurley, you do it all you want. I, you let I'm me know how saying. it works out for you. I'm not. I'm just saying. Do what you got to do. Yep. yep. Fine. Yep. It's fine. All right. What about pickups? Maybe we can agree on this. No, because you're a square body guy, and I don't think fender wells should be square when the tires are round. That seems like a stupid problem to have to put a two-inch body lift on everything so nothing works just to clear 31s. just seems dumb. I have no preference on pick- pickups. I've owned them really all. either. I had them all, too. I'm a Ford guy. I feel like somebody's got a chip on their shoulder. I do. You think so? I'm a Ford guy. Yep. I heard Ford guy. Yeah. Yep. Make no bones about it. Like so, it's like the TW thirty five of the no pickup. No, no, totally different. I deal. mean, I mean, you're a Ford guy. <laughs> no, totally different deal. <laughs> I seen him work on a Ford Badger yep. this winter. Yeah, yep. you, you won't catch me doing that. You won't catch me doing that again. No, but yep. I'll I will take the Ford truck any day of the week. Okay. If we're going old school cars, I'll take Mopar shit. Yep. I like old, I like I like old school Ford stuff too in the car world, but I'll take I'll take Mopar shit. But uh, when it comes to trucks, I'll take Ford. What year? 79. Everybody likes 79s. I actually prefer 80 to 86. You just can't pick an 80. You can't pick an 80. What's that? With the bad frame? Swiss cheese frame 80? Mine was an 85, but that body style. Okay. That, body that is style. one segment of trucks that I do overlook. Because 80 to 85 or 6 were cool trucks. Yeah. I just automatically go to 77 to 79. But, but yeah. yeah, I do like them 80s. They have a lot well. of room in them. I, yeah. I love those trucks. A little, was, little more comfort. You, as a Chevy guy, you can't make fun of frames, cripes. Remember when they switch body styles and they put them on Who horse? Who said I'm a Chevy frame? guy? We all know it. If you're no. a Peterbilt guy and a John Deere no, guy, no, no, you've no, got to no. be a pioneer no. and a Chevy guy. Like That just all goes hand in hand in hand. I'm For the record, I'm wearing a Young's sweatshirt with a decal hat. That doesn't not make you a pioneer guy. That makes you camouflage for the farm show. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you didn't want to fall down walking around there. I don't know. <laughs> no, my ears would have fallen off. <laughs> but what was the exchange rate coming into the farm show? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, once Actually, once they again, taxed us just to come in, they into should. Illinois. They should. Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. once again made it full circle. This one's ran pretty long. We yeah, probably, we're, probably uh, better, we're damn near two hours into this. We probably better wrap this one up. Really? Yeah. 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 Sure enough. Damn. That's thirty minutes of you bitching about my Volvo, you know. It's okay. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't hear anybody bitching about Volvo. I heard this guy that really hadn't chip on his shoulder towards Peterbilt. I told you to be my second choice. Peterbilt would be my second choice. That was your Kamala. No. <laughs> we did it, Joe. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Yes. I would. Yeah, let's not go that far. <laughs> it would be my second choice. Now, not when I was a kid. But now, probably. What else to take my Volvo? If I was buying a new toter home tomorrow to go tractor pull in, it'd be a Volvo. I don't want to be able to touch both windows with my wingspan. Just saying. All right. Nobody's judging you for it. You you kind of are. No, well, I'm, okay. not, I'm not it's judging okay. you for it. It's I'm okay. not judging you for it. It's okay. You called me a sweaty manhandler a minute ago. No, I didn't. I'm pretty sure that's judging. I didn't. I it didn't. Sounded, I just said there was like plenty judging. room for your sweaty arm wrestling friends when you drove your Volvo. Whatever Which you was do. Your, your, your prize for beating the other sweaty arm wrestling men in your competition. That's all I'm saying. You should be proud of that fact. Man, I'll work that, on that. That all the sweaty arm wrestling men want to ride with you. In your Volvo. So are you saying on 9-11, had the hijackers had semis, they would have been in Volvos? 
<laughs> no, I don't racially profile like that. What's getting brought to you by Reichman Brothers? <laughs> I'm saying they had a beer belt because they wouldn't be able to see and they ran into them by accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they might be it was not an inside job. It was just they didn't have visibility, right? Yeah. Yep. They had too big of a visor on it. They didn't Absolutely. see the World Trade Center in front of them. Well, like a buddy of mine told me, you know why you got to keep a Peterbilt waxed up? I'm like, why is that? He's like, because you can't see the stoplights. you got to look for the reflection in your yep. hood because you're down visor. Yep. So when you drive your Pete, just all ingrained to the local yep. terminal, yep. seat all the way down, hand all the way up, visor that blocks so you can literally see like a sliver. One seat inch. all the way down, yeah. Like literally, how you much, squint your how eyes. How many cents and, extra do you get for your grain for that class in that respect? Because I know that pays. I've seen the T-shirt. It says class pays, respect pays. So you got to be getting more for your corn. How much more of a premium is that? Well, when the elevator girl winks at you, but I suppose the elevator dude winks at you and your Volvo. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> they are rest all over it. <laughs> Just think if you hold grain in with your sixty thirty. How heavy is your test weight, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. That's why they like it. Have you ever been on a podcast like this? I mean, we just let it go. Yeah. It's the same thing as Rob Sharkey. Is we it? did the exact same. We went over the whole same so thing. So Reichman sponsored him too. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Reichmans are going to fucking kill us. Yeah. I'm not going to be happy about <laughs> this. Next time I call another, they're, they're just going to hang up on me. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. done. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we've made fun of each other about pretty much everything we can make fun of. We better wrap this one up. Yeah, we yep. better. Yeah. Yep. 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 So this segment we brought to you by Mitch right. McConnell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. You're doing some quality work out there, bud. Oh. Actually, stay in silence. The best thing he can it do is. for this country. It so is. If he, just shut if, he, up. if he does yep. that, he probably gets a nomination, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Doing what he can do. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. We better wrap this up, get these Canadians out of here. Yeah. Is Canada <laughs> no, same time it zone? All across, yeah. is that a blanket yeah. policy, or you guys got time zones like we got? <laughs> you guys French or, like, normal no. Canada? Okay. We're just checking. Yeah. Hey. But- <laughs> Grab the torque. Grab the torque. Yeah. Give it a little time, just in case it slips. Yeah. We could. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We sincerely apologize to Reichman Brothers John Deere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Southern Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to drag you into this fuckery, yeah. but <laughs> not sure how this Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> if you do need a tractor, call them, but don't mention our name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs>